plays yeah, out. Yeah, you have a good line to go down. So definitely you should run down the line as far as you can. And you might find something that you, not that they like, but you might find points that actually help your investment decision um, more than a watch basis. Right, right, right. Um so one other thing, Randy, I wanted to ask Randy one question. I remember years ago, um, I was in discussion with some 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 investment advisors, and we were all Las Vegas at the time was a benchmark in terms of stock and company that 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 um that had the strength and and the financial muscle and the and the global demand. So I'm gonna ask Randy now, which stock or company you think, listed company you think, could emulate Las Vegas de Mercado in terms of performance, in terms of meeting and providing a service or a product that can compete on the world stage? You can think about it. I think I know what you're gonna say, Randy, but um, I just want to hear what your thoughts are. Well, tell me what tell me what you're going to say. And we just yeah, to you probably say Grace Kennedy, right? Uh, okay, no, I wouldn't. What I'd actually say is, what do you mean by that? Like, I, I don't know. What all right. You, I don't know what you mean when you say benchmark. All right, um, all right, all right. So, yeah. all right, last says the Mercado um, was probably one of the few listed companies in Jamaica, our companies in Jamaica overall, that was able, that had products that could compete with probably the biggest and best out there. Um, yeah, okay. so um, what I'm looking at is, is I want to see which company now that is listed that has that 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 kind of appeal um that 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 reach that can that has products that can compete globally um I I remember many years ago um investors were berating the McConnell's to pay dividends pay dividends last as the was not paying any dividend and I was working there at the time, and the, the gentleman was saying, um, the owners were saying that they're going to pump all the money back in the business and asking investors to be patient, just to be patient, and the rewards will be great, you know, in the in the medium term. And it, and it did play out. But last year, the Mercado was not just, I'm not just talking about the price at which, share price, but um, I'm talking about developing that, that, that kind of, what, what, let me find a term. Track, track record in terms of performance, financial performance, in, in terms of appeal. Um, I remember, and, and I'll give an example. Um, years ago, when I was working at Las Vegas de Mercado, Sandals Resorts had pulled um, one of Las Vegas products from their, from their hotels. And we were a bit peeved at the company but i remember the ceo saying that he's giving a gentleman two weeks and he's going to come running back and that's mr booksword running back to us they went and and, and started to import demarara rum and replaced with the lassels appleton red rum and the all the tourists kept on complaining that 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 they wanted what they're accustomed to the Appleton Red Room, and so said in the two weeks time, they came running back. So the, it's a sort of appeal that the Appleton brand had globally. It's it's and and the rare red um white overproof rum and the Federated Pharmaceutical products. Those are just some of the strong um products that you know had global reach, global global demand. So um I'm just looking and I'm thinking which company you know in your estimation. The thing can reach that level. All right. The other thing, though, the funny thing, and it, it's a kind of technical, uh, technical answer, but it, it right. asks a technical question. Are you asking me about which company has products that can compete on the right, world, right. The world market? Right, on the world or market. You, oh, the, products are service. Are you are you asking me along the lines of you care about their share? Price? Um, I care about the share price, you know, but the share price come from the company being able to demonstrate the kind of capability um, to earn and to and, and to produce because it's, it's a good or a great company that drives the share price. Um, 
that make that makes products that earns the profits. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, think about it. Think about it this way. I can tell you, you've not you've never done my um no grow up course, have you? I can tell. Cause then you, you would you would know my personal view on what moves the share prices. So no, it's no, not. The, the yeah, it's not. Drive those are not the only factors that drive it in our hand. I know. <laughs> only, only, only yeah. one factor drives share prices, but that's right. a different conversation. Um, literally, I just say you can hear what I said. Only one factor uh -huh. sets share prices. Um, and that's something we can talk about. Grow people who care about girl can come to the girl that we're having on monday and 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 if you want if you want you can come there and you can hear my views yeah. and we can have a nice debate about it. suspect no problem here, you'd agree. no problem i'll ask oh, oh, invitation if you're asked yeah man well, you, you yeah, no. i know i know i know i know <laughs> i know but, but but i'd love if you did because i can i mean i'm biased but i can tell you that it, it tends to be a very good um shift in the thinking i think of people no ju just uh, first of all let me say thank you because you did cover like the last five minutes for me while i did a little bit of scrambling so the youtube is live the um the spaces is like are live i think the people on youtube should be hearing us fine if not they can put it in the chat to say that they're not and i will see it then i will see it um right so right. we're good having said all of that though uh having said all of that you are ooh, sorry about it having said all of that you are asking me what company do i think has that sort of capability like a lesser the right, right. Of the years of, right um and I'm taking what I think you're really saying is which company that's listed has that level of quality in terms of the output of their product. And of course, if they move, the share price is likely to, meaning they move to an international market, the share price is likely to um, reflect that sort of international interest, right? Whether they, they move or somebody from an international market come in like right, right. With Red Stripe um, yeah. and Diageo. Uh, I think. I, you, and you're kind of bastard. You want me to say GK, and I can't deny it. GK mm. is world class, but obviously, as we can see from the Spiritry IPO, oh yes, to touch on it a little early. Obviously, yeah, it's not yeah. just that, right? So, oh it, yeah, um, you want the one better with the level of cash and strength of cash behind uh -huh. Lumber. They could probably play the Lumber game right. throughout the region. Um. In fact, they could probably play the lumber game worldwide if you have enough money to. I mean, there might be a tiny player worldwide, but 0.5 percent of two billion. Yeah, dollars. yeah, that's all that thing. There's options there. Um, we have really good water in Jamaica. W-A-T-E-R. but of course, we think of W-A-T-A, water. The Jamaican water, as much as some of us who might go back and forth about it, the quality of our water in Jamaica compared to many places around the world is extremely high, right? We could sell our water. We Singapore has that level of interest, right? Um, a lot of islands in the Caribbean don't actually have natural water. I know, like we especially have. Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Not just, especially there is... No, man, there's a lot of there. yeah. Islands. I mean, a lot of these places yeah so that's that's international that could be regional but there's also international if you make it exotic the further we go from home um i would want to say the quality of our chicken and bring jbg in but the truth is uh, jbg is probably going to do it in reverse uh our teas our local teas have a lot of um like to us, we might frown at it or not even take it serious, but those teas and those spices that Jam Tea has an involvement in has world appeal. We see it in North America and it can sell almost anywhere. Uh, you won't go down the market, there are so, and for the people on YouTube, you'd say looking at the, 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 the stock market on our sponsor, um, My Money JA. We got My Money JA for sponsor in an episode. Uh, lots of stuff. And remember that we have international presence here also. Carreras is really British American tobacco. That's international uh -huh. presence here already, right? Um, if the world moves in the direction it seems to be moving with liberalized marijuana, really and truly, if America stops making a big deal about it, the second America allows it federally, it yeah, that, up around the that world. That could be a big play. If that yeah. happens, Jamaican, 
Jamaican weed has a huger brand identity than maybe even the actual real quality of local yeah. weed, right? So if that happens, careers is well set in terms of their footprint to move on it. Um, there well, are so many. many things. Can so, I say one so thing, Randy? Can I say one thing before, yes. you, before I cut off? Uh-huh. There's one company that is not listed yeah, man, that does some water business. It's not a listed company, but I've been watching it, and it is doing very well overseas. Um, the Portland company, Lifespan, Lifespan. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good. Mm. That's a very good. So, it, the, the, with, and and they have they have right. They, have, the I, think they, I think they do business as far as China. So, so as I said, yeah. there are many. There are many that that have the potential out there. So. I like your questions. I like your questions. I like your point. I really hope I really hope you take the effort seriously and um and come through grow uh, on, yeah, man, I'm gonna on, so on Monday. Um oh, what other thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell you people who have people who are actually investment uh-huh. experts, as I would say, tend to actually do very well at grow and they're they're usually very surprised at what the content is. Like I said to somebody the other day by BM that beginner is actually a misnomer yeah. of the course um uh, good for beginners but the more experience you have the better it is for yeah. you i'm bad saying that and said all of that so i should point out that i see uh javier or javier bailey said on on youtube in relation to your question that jamaica producers could be a player they with their shipping arm but the reality is they, they are. are yeah they are a player jamaica producers has the biggest say 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 the biggest name off, i think the name is they, they have the yeah, yeah. who gets bigger juice fresh one of the largest fresh fruit right. in europe mm-hmm. um and then the largest in the southern that. europe no that's yeah and it's all that's owned by a jamaican company that you can go and buy monday mo- well tuesday morning for um <laughs> less value than i think it is worth officially uh yeah 23 jamaican dollars right and they're and they're expanding yeah. hugely um or are they? Exp- I don't know if they're expanding hugely, but they're 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 taking steady mm-hmm. forward steps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really yeah. Right, last... Yes, I think there's oh, a whole yeah. heap. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, a lot. Yeah, yeah. One last what thing, Andrew. One last stuff. thing I'm gonna say. Um, mm-hmm. spur tree is going on a lot of interest, a lot of excitement, right? The last time I mm-hmm. see this much excitement was probably 2010. Dolphin Cove. I remember. Okay, hold on, Alric. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you on this specific point. I mean, you have to rush, you know. We're, we're not going to go no, all night. It is, it uh-huh. is Christmas Eve. Yeah. Um. So we're not gonna go all night. But you're you're welcome to stay and come back, you know. Yeah, man. I'm, yeah. Cool. But I just want to say, see, Randy. All right. I no, I'm not cutting spur tree. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not cutting spur tree. That's one last thing. I just. I'm, I'm just reminding the investors to keep an eye out on the market because. There are some opportunities there that will that will arise. Or I saw yesterday, Stignus was <laughs> a, a good block was being given away at, at a nice price. Yeah, then I over five. Huh? What? Then I over five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Abby. Oh yeah, man. We'll yeah, so they we'll keep your eyes out. Don't don't be don't be swayed by the by the noise and the and the excitement because opportunities will arise daily so just you always need to have a little cash i mean cash is cash on account sometimes not earning anything or, or not invested is not always the best but sometimes it's good to have some because opportunities will arise all right cool all right yeah i i i, I, I agree with you big up big all up big up big up Alric. and like i said stick around please we'd love to hear um we'd love to hear more from you uh, all right cool a little later yeah man I'll if be, you don't mind right. yeah all right so i think i think we've, we've, we've warmed up enough than i um <laughs> so even everybody officially um let me pause at this point just to say our, our, our expected um our expected disclaimer that this is uh hopefully a wonderful session this is brick talk like we have every week um randy that's the on the other side of the screen if you're watching on um you the window down the bottom there is provided to us by my money ja and uh this session is for entertainment, it's for education, but it is definitely not an advisory session. It is not meant to be an advisory session. Danai is a licensed investment advisor. 
I am a guy who talks about stocks all the time. I do have an investment um, class that you can come to and learn how to invest on your own and learn how to connect some of those dots. But I am not an investment advisor. And nothing said in this session is investment advisory. It should not be misconstrued that way. If you want some investment advice, the best investment advisor that I know is on the other side of that screen. He's pretty goddamn good and bass in saying so, but the results speak for themselves. He's ending a wonderful year. Um, how are your Christmas doing? The, doing great, doing you, great, you make doing it a year bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I think the clients got that more than me. <laughs> yeah, your clients should be very, 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 very happy. So uh, we're going to, what you want to touch first? I have a couple of notes in front of you. We're going to yeah. burn it if you want to bring it. Jumping back to a bit what Alex said, just, mm -hmm. I feel like if you look at the market properly, there is no way you, you, you feel hopeless about Jamaica and the direction we're going. I, I, I really think we're coming from a bad place and the market kind of gives you some good insight into our, into the good place that we seem to be going to. So they start, let's, hope, let's hope we don't fumble the bag, but opportunity, opportunities are bound. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like other point. So the point that I joke about when I say the point, I don't really own five grand, but we're joking that one of the things that you will hear about Six. as... Um, as yeah, as as spur tree gets more and more um, popularity, and and as it filters through the different circles of society, that there's an IPO out there and people are excited about it. Again, like Alric um, made mention to, there will likely be opportunities in other areas, mm -hmm. right? And some of those we can touch on. Um, one of my first notes here is talking about tourism, the rise of tourism. I mean. Coming in at the end of the year, the, 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 the minister that is stealing the spotlight. Yeah, yes, indeed. Other of the Ed Bart Network is bringing the cruise ships and the planes back. I get about 15 pictures every day from, from airports, mm -hmm. either heading to Jamaica or Jamaican airports. Everything packed, everything done, no car rentals available, no. Um, the, the, I guess me, I don't, you don't have heard anybody tell me that them Airbnbs book out. Oh, people tell, people tell me that. Are, people tell me that. People tell me that. People think it's the Airbnb, yes. so? Uh, yeah. A tweet, I'm going to show you a tweet by somebody we both know that was just, just, just saying. What well, yeah, so yeah. Send it to me and I'll show it on the screen so the people on YouTube can see it. I'm going to show them below that. But... Oh, well, uh, you can roll the dice. So you can you can also tag it, hashtag Brick Talk, and it will pop up in the space <laughs> with all the other um, Brick Talk points. Uh, that anybody might have, so feel free to use the hashtag as you uh, as we go on throughout the the, the um session. Um, but yeah, tourism. I, 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 let me not run ahead and say tourism is back, but it is certainly back more than it was last this year. time last yeah. year. Yeah, and in the game of investing, you don't always need to beat your best. You just need to beat your worst. Same period last, last year. year. <laughs> um. And, and it, it, it's obvious that things are great. So, so I have been doing that whole dot thing that I tend to do on Twitter a lot, talking about the dots. Um, and of course, if you've if you've done grow, you understand that there's actually a lot more behind me saying that, right? And of course, if you haven't done grow, you just pay attention to my tweets. You you, you can kind of put the picture together. For this one, I actually did touch on some of the. I, I did connect a couple of the dots. I'll do it here. Well, then I types where it's it's pretty much that there are popular companies that are tourism facing right and again pick up my money ja for being our our um sponsor or our, our, our data sponsor official data sponsor um and allowing us to oh sorry i'm screwing around with the with the stream and allowing us to 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 have like this wonderful watch list that I have here of the tourism companies that are listed are tourism exposed companies. So you have obviously the CPJ year to date up 332%, 332.4% in terms of um, share price. But the, the big thing behind CPJ is simply put is that these guys service the tourism industry directly. So obviously an increase in tourist arrivals an increase in tourist stays is likely an indicator of an increase in business for CPJ. If you want to get a in depth, if you look at their last set of results, 
I think the most interesting thing from the last two results, not only the fact that their last two quarters are their best quarters ever, yes. but also the fact that they have been obviously stocking up. They've been spending money stocking up, having stronger inventory, right? If you want to go down the boring economist road, apologies to the economist, but if you want to go down the boring economist road and put dots together, put sense together, if we're experiencing inflation all over the world and supply chain issues, the stuff you hear when you turn up, when you're switching through the news, um, CPJ stocking up this, this much and this quickly could indicate them looking to them looking to ensure that their supplies are strong throughout the season. And of course, if inflation is affecting the cost of supplies, but you have paid for your supplies early, then you get to sell something for a dollar fifty that you were selling for a dollar twenty that you bought for seventy cents. Mm-hmm. It's just common sense. But the hotels Simplifying, have to buy that from a um, higher price, basically. And the hotels have to buy because they're packed and the people are eating, right? Yeah, the Americans are eating, and no, not just Americans, but heavily Americans. They're out there, they're eating. So that to me is a huge, 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 huge sign of what's coming because they, I, I like companies that are linked to things that we cannot avoid. Mm-hmm. People have to eat food, they have to drink alcohol if they're on holiday, they have to eat meat because at Christmas time, Ray, 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 CPJ gets to eat off that. So what that dot is, is a literal precursor, in my view, of really strong results to come. Um, and of course, if you pay attention to it, like I obviously pay attention to it, you, you look every single day, look to see if there's going to be any fall off. The biggest threat to all these companies was Omicron, Omicron, or whatever you call it. The, yeah, the latest version of COVID. Um, and I'm saying the girl guide group today that the, the, the most important article that I've seen from date is the is the article that stated that pretty much again with the minister speaking, the tourism minister speaking, saying that he doesn't that there hasn't really been the expected fall off yep, locally. That a lot of other places have seen. Yeah, locally we haven't seen that. The plane still packed. Uh, everywhere is still packed, people eating, people going through, and so CPJ easy thing. Dolphin Cove serves the tourist market also, um, serves also a lot of the tourists from cruise ships. They get a little chunk of the people from cruise ships. Nice extra dot. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another place, I think it's Cayman or Bahamas, somewhere decided that they're not taking cruise ships currently. So those cruise ships have to go somewhere, um, and Jamaica is the premier cruise destination in the region. So. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for not taking those cruise ships. We'll take them. Um, so that that is that that's another another dot, I think. Um, and this is the article if you see on the screen now that I thought that, that I'm mentioning. No Omicron fallout, and I'll share it on Twitter with the hashtag um, Brick Talk for anybody who's interested in reading it. But the point is just like I said. Uh, what about you, Danai? Which, which other tourism companies do you find uh, very attractive or, or, or see the dots around currently? Yeah, other. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Those two and the other. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't. You, you can't touch them. Yeah, no, you don't. You can't touch them right now. I think. I think you said. I think you said a good enough bit about them. Uh, agreed fully. We should see better for them. ECL and. I don't really hear more people talking too much about Wisinko right now, but Wisinko has a, has, a, has a large footprint in the tourism market. If you go to any hotel and you mm. open that mini fridge, you go to the mini bar, you know what you're seeing, all right? Coca Cola. The, the fridge is just stocked with Wisinko things. The so, uh, true juice, Coca Cola, Sprite, that's what's in the mini fridge, water. So you know that, boy, if there's more tourism, if there are more people in the hotels, then they'll be using that thing there. A nice interesting point when i was at so I, i've been to the hotel i've been to a hotel earlier this year and more recently mm-hmm. like last month or so and the difference in how they actually were treating the thing there. before it's the same hotel by the way so I, I found that very nice so the before they built they were stuck in the fridge you uh-huh. go and you ask no you go the fridge is full because People are coming to more, and trust me, so you see, you see, you see the people at hotels. So what's happening? What's happening right now? The government and the resilient corridor, which is allowing tourism to happen in a very, very specific way, 
basically you go to the hotel and you lock down as a tourist. All, all the events are held within the hotels and then you go to certain tour destinations like clockwork. We think we're making some good money on that because you know, say boy, all that tour, all that hotel stays on hotel one. If they're having events within the hotels, then we need to stop more because you're not leaving on this whatever party was. You know, the, the party basically is at the is at the hotel and we stop there. So so I can imagine over the last quarter we saw we think was performance, and I think that's just going to continue as we go along. ECL, if you check the flight numbers versus last year, pretty easy that of Jano. We're much better off <laughs> compared to last year. So yeah, ECL is making some good money off mm -hmm. of that as well. So both of them. Good money there. You know. Yeah. ECL nice. Nice, nice. ECL. I see people saying that they're stuck in the airport in Mobile. Yes. And, I, and I'm just thinking, I hope a lot of Americans are stuck in the airport in Mobile because food. They, they need to eat that food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, they need to eat, they need to drink that Starbucks, mm -hmm. you know? Um, they need to eat, they need to eat, they need to just, just eat behind the security line. That's all yep. I care about. It's just, and I'll eat that. Yeah, let's keep doing that. Yeah. So ECL is another, another great, 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 great example of you just seem to be better than you were last year. And ECL, is known as being almost directly they have a direct everybody look, relationship every, between it's, it's actually when i talk when I, when I talk to clients about tourism and mm -hmm. what i expect there and i'm ready to give a pick very quickly ecl <laughs> so i'm not saying i chose ecl but it's on everybody's mm -hmm. mind the moment they think there look at actually yeah. check look on the the movement over there for the stock it's those two steep jumps i remember watching them because every time it dipped down into thing there there was some proper tourism news going on and then ECL has some strong mm -hmm. reaction to it so mm -hmm. in my opinion if you see ECL at three dollars or so you might not see it for long <laughs> yeah hey I was seeing it currently but not at three dollars yet yeah. but it was it, it, it's a pretty easy one if it, 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 it again, could... are we talking about opportunities in the market you might see some opportunities yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know opportunities are for there. So that, that's the beauty, I think. And I gotta remember, guys, this is not financial advice. And if you understand how we look at the market, you understand that it really is a financial advice because when you hear the real conversations, that oh, we it's have far from day, this. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding back so it. much right now because you know, the kind of pay the money, but can't just go up and take the space and say, oh, all this free information, do this, do whatever. That, that's just kind of messed up. So. Yeah, yeah. So you give the people the value that they need. Um, and and that that I, I love I love to hear that. But you have here the general point, um, that ECL looks nice, in terms of what is likely happening with them. But all of these things have their own threat, right? Mm. Oh, definitely. Again, bring it back, bring it back to Alric, the um, the, the threat, the big threat on the horizon, of of, what is that threat really? The the, the IPO. Mm -hmm. Not also to be simple, to part, that the water, if you hold this price and you dip below whatever and your timeline go re add up there, so mm -hmm. then you also ask money before you actually work. So so you need to pull the money next week and what IP will really drain whatever, whatever. Then you can see mm -hmm. if your stock get hit that way, then you can see the problem there. But not after to the business that does if check your pocket, your goals, your timeline and see how that work out for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. saying this thing is going to fall. Please, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so annoying with that thing. Like, yeah, people, people almost want to hear what they want to hear from us. Yeah. And so, yeah, you, 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 like, you get all the time. As I hear all the time, though, people kind of say, uh, Dan and I talk about something. We talk about something on BrickTalk. And maybe they know we know somebody. Like, they got Phil who I see in the YouTube chat. Um, you mentioned that Cayman is a country that isn't taking uh, cruise ships. Mm -hmm. So if, if you are a cruise ship that was headed to Cayman, you promise the people a Caribbean destination like Cayman, where's the closest place you can go? That wonderful cruise ship destination in Jamaica. We have a lot of cruise ship ports there. We have a lot of food and drink you mm -hmm. can enjoy. And ja uh, Jamaica set up in a very specific way that a lot of other Caribbean countries, especially right now, can deal with certain things. So we can get... Mm -hmm. True. I'll, yeah, yeah. Well, it, 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 then I say it the nice way. Um, we just take it for granted that Omicron is here. But guess what? You you can't. You have to. Everything in life have a pay a payoff. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take a little bit of the threat so we can make some of the money. 
I think we have accepted that we're taking the threat. Mm-hmm. Because if you say we have great tourist arrivals, we know what that yeah. means, right? Yeah. Oh, we've seen last year something happened with the economy. Mm-hmm. Why? Those planning institute numbers coming out. Yeah, the, the, I don't see the government pushing to a proper lockdown where tourism is barred out anymore. If anything, we go back to what we had like last quarter with, all right, cool, no movement, but we don't really have people. But the tourism operates in a, very, more, in a much more limited fashion. I think right now we have some level of freedom, more people coming in and everything. But I don't see us going back to your know, airport lock. Nobody can come in. That, that's not going. That I don't think the government can read that because we've seen what it does to business and, and the economy. So take the risk and yeah. deal with it. Yeah, the simple truth. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to. Uh, me neither. We, we did it for a long time. Cool, yeah, we, I don't think the country can afford to. Yeah. yeah, people have been home for a long time and just can't earn. The people are hungry. You, you, that's just the, the, the simple truth. Um, so I don't think we're ever going back to that sort of a thing. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what 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 what, what um, could happen? But the the, the the important thing is that. The opportunities are you look at the situation as there, you accept it for it is, and you try and find your best path through it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would start actually start to the point by saying that a lot of people tend to ask when about talk about something. Sometimes it's almost like they're not hearing what we say, <laughs> they're listening to what they listen to what they think we say, and and how it feel like it, it, it feel like they're never really happy about um. X, Y, Z, and so it decide that we don't like a company. Or, and of course, if you don't like a company, you hate a company forever, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Versus, yes. <laughs> versus, I'm just not buying it right now. <laughs> or I don't expect it to, I don't expect it to do what I need my money to do, so we're just, we're just not going there right now. That's a simple truth. People ask me all the time, okay, I said, we're selling this. And then I say a good thing about it. When say, so why are we selling? I'm like, because your money, <laughs> you say your money if we do this by X. As good as this thing is, this thing is, I have not seen it doing what they need it to do, so you can't beat it. Simple as that. Yeah, so it's, I can't, yeah. I can't like the company and have it. There are a lot of companies on the market I like. I don't own them. I've never owned some companies I like. So that's how you go sometimes. King, it's for me. Hmm? Kingston Wars. Oh, same. Yes. <laughs> it's looking, it's looking yeah. much better now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Much better it now. always is, but I, I, I don't always. See it. Even though I'm not, yeah, I just not going to buy it. Maybe in the future, maybe a client, yeah, maybe yeah. a client's goals fit it better than mine. But that's also it is. Mm-hmm. Can't expect yeah. everybody to want. In fact, everybody expect everybody to want the same true. stocks they want. But I like the stocks. So how dare you not like it too? How dare how dare you say you wouldn't buy it? Like, <laughs> bro, we're different people. You 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 see this fight? Maybe I don't see. We disagree. We we'll see who is right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. End of the day. So why, yeah, <laughs> the market is always right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the true beauty of it. But tell the truth, why don't you like Cygnus? <laughs> it, it's funny because I feel like anybody that has listened to us knows that, that they should know we like Cygnus, right? So I, you know, I don't know if people. I, I don't know if people think so. I don't. I really don't know because people tend. People really do work with what they feel you say versus what you actually say it's like oh people think i'm against crypto and i hate it and mm-hmm. you never touch it like, is that what you hear when you hear me talk or do you hear me ask how do you get how do you get regular people into it i'm talking about myself <laughs> yeah how do you get regular people into it so signals well we thought signals that's a good one they threw a nice spanner in the words mm-hmm. um this week yeah. by 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 dropping the news yeah it's yeah. funny because yeah They've been almost hinting at it for quite a while. That yo, we're going in a new direction, new deals, new partnerships, and we're growing. We need to reach X size, and when we reach X size, we can take on a certain kind of opportunity. I think somebody even asked him at a at a meeting before if they acquire other companies or whatever, and we're not we're open to it. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, after raising money. Yeah. After being very lonely. We know about raising money as well. Yeah. Um, and those guys are accountants to the core and economists. They're not very good at subtlety, right? Like guys, we are look what I think they call it in their latest um their latest thing, a new phase of our growth, mm-hmm. a new phase of operations, right? The, the lift off, I think it was called. Mm-hmm. 
the lift off, I believe they, they call it. Um, and and then a little later, it came out that that you know, I look for I look for see, but the, it came out that of course they, they bought this or they're looking to buy yes. stock purchase agreement and quite a majority interest in know in one of the largest private credit, credit companies, companies in Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Yep. All right. Um, and then the share prices came out yesterday, and today the share price did nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. Hey, you know, I find that interesting. Every economist knows a certain thing. They talk about demand and supply, and we all know how scarcity mm -hmm. affects affects any commodity. It's, there's going to be a scarcity premium on anything. If if there's less on it, if there's less of it available, then it's unlikely, mm -hmm. and it's it's likely that you see that movement up because people are willing to pay to own that because there's some exclusiveness to owning that right because boy if less signals there then i can again need to own again need to pay more because people are going to be less willing to let go of it because there's you know less available signals i've been saying well we all know it you don't need to own shares in signals to control so if you own 51 percent of your of your company that you list you list every nickel and you own 51% mm -hmm. of it, then you're not looking to sell that 51 because, boy, if I start selling, then it opens up me to losing control and all those problems, right? Signals, everything is, everything out there. If Signals Capital, Signals Capital only owns one share, they only need to hold one share, the golden share, to do anything. So mm -hmm. everybody can have this company. And we just own that one golden share, and we do what we get what we need to get out of that ownership. Mm -hmm. So compared to other companies, yeah. that premium we're going to pay for scarcity is just not there. Thirty-one, because as good as as good as what they are doing is, the shares are just so easy to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think of how much people own. Sigma. Thirty-one percent of the top ten is in the top ten. Thirty-one percent of the shares are in the top ten. And none of those top ten owners thirty one thirty one, and none of those top ten owners really need to stay there, because if I sell my ten percent, I'm not losing anything. I'm just making so I either I get him my money. I'm not losing ownership. It's the same argument, boy. What? Why X billionaire those sell off him stock? Because we lose the company, <laughs> and next guy we, they own more shares than him, and they walk in him office the next day and they have a cut. Signals doesn't have that problem. So, yeah, but I, but again, I think you're talking from a perspective. This is one of the reasons why you understand that the companies puts you ahead of so many people. Because I'm thinking, the, I'm thinking specifically to people that are informed in a certain area. Because out of out of, out of the finance guys, we like signals because we like what it's doing, we like what yeah. where it's going, and whatever, whatever. And we also like the, we just like the company, right? But but then you hear the talk of. Cool, we like signals. Why doesn't everybody else like it? Like it to the point of thirty dollars. Why doesn't everybody else like it to the point of forty dollars? Them like it. Everybody will love it at that point. But who can buy it? If mm -hmm. I can buy it at fifteen, or oh, is that fourteen? Like the truth is, if most people do what they said, if people, if most people said who love, who said them love signals, really love signals. That fourteen dollars is that you want that thirteen because you can get more. If, if you're not running down ownership, if you're not running down, I need to control this company at some point in my life. You're not losing. You're a, you're a dividend investor. Go. <laughs> or the price is falling. Your dividend yield just gone up. Go. <laughs> and, and yeah. Yeah. So if you're being yeah. real with yourself, what you're saying, what you're doing, you need to match up. But but that's where people start to get iffy and jumpy. Um, and and the crappy thing is, well, the funny thing is, as we talk about privately, Cygnus. Cygnus' share price, um, in my personal view at least, tends to react along such a predictable line that what it does is that every time you get to the point where the, 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 the diehard people kind of quiet and realize, say, boy, maybe I really should have been working too. It got up just enough for them to go, you see? Right? Because a lot of people know what I sell it, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, we said it last week. I've been saying it for a little while now that um, I would hate to be in Cygnus if anything else interesting happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and here comes Spur Tree, slightly interesting, good in, in comparison maybe to, to the fervor of what the usual um, guys that love talking about signals mm -hmm. uh, do. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't know if it would have stood up to the massive pressure. Yes, Massey, Massey, so right? Spur tree yeah. and then Massey, right? And then it's John Jackson that, writing yeah. that other things coming soon. Yeah, lots of other things. <laughs> John Jackson has called him. They should change his name to Chatter in the Market. <laughs> but, <laughs> they, Everybody quote him they, as Chatter they, in the they, Market, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In fact, switch it up and think of it this way: Could it not have maybe been strategy to speak about the the bio no mm-hmm. a few because weeks then, before yes. Massey? Because boy, because we know well, well, I don't think it could have taken Massey pressure. Mm-hmm. And we have we have, couple, we have couple yeah. shareholders that not waiting there. But that's interesting as well because think about it. We put out this news, but it's all on the thing that it's all on the public and people that want look, everybody else but them that want signals to decide no am i willing to buy it further on this basis there's no okay because they're what's the word they use defending the share price that was a, that was a, that was a term um somebody yeah. use it yeah. those guys yeah. i mean yeah that's right that's not where them skin is defending your personal that's, price that, their, yeah. their skin in the game is not there like them is the management fee so there's well, you no, know what's funny part of their management compensation is no it's really around assets under management and yeah but i I feel like and this is me talking without having done my own um accurate hundred percent research to say i'm sure here so if i'm wrong and somebody can show me i'm wrong i'll take it back and again i think this is the kind of conversations we have why people think we don't like it Mm -hmm. because you're saying one thing i'm playing devil's advocate or sometimes i'm saying one thing and you're playing devil's advocate so them don't like it uh, but no, let me go back to it. The, their strength is also their weakness. They hold ultimate control through the golden share, but their but the share price is really at the the um the the the, the, the whims of the public, right? And if the public is given enough reason, the type of public who gets to the top ten of this sort of thing and and below, if they're given enough sort of reason, and the truth is. If your top 10 is at 31% and these are the people who hold things for long, pensions, the government, right? Mm-hmm. You know, the, 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 the funds, those people hold things for long time, that put more power further down the further down the field to the smaller shareholders, mm-hmm. yes. right? And a man that have 20 million worth of signals or 10 million worth of signals, have some money, but not at the, at the, um, not at the equity fund level, mm-hmm. right? That man might say, yo, I have waited long enough. And Massey is of the level that is also worth me putting my millions into. Mm-hmm. And that one man might be able to send the Cygnus down to, down to, I mean, look at the current queue. That one man could send Cygnus down, down to, to 1350. Mm-hmm. The reference price on Tuesday morning will be 1436. Some quick math. That can hit 1220. What's the lowest sell? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. no, reference is, is again big up my money, J. But it's, the reference price oh, is forty thirty six. Okay, that's crazy. So, yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> you're excited, <laughs> bad, excited, <laughs> bad, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, the the, the fourteen thirty six means that it can hit twelve twenty. It can hit twelve twenty one on Tuesday and not even have tripped the breaker, which means it can somebody could come in and if they have the volumes, empty the, the queue, the buy queue, hit 1256 and the breaker would not fly yet. Mm-hmm. If somebody that with an order of 12, 1219 and the breaker trips and everybody who has the, the alert set up on my money J gets the alert mm-hmm. that, you know, signals just hit the, the, the downward breaker. That sets off the fear reaction, right? And all of a sudden, you have a share price that is tanking, not because you're not great, not because you aren't doing stellar business, not because you're not making the best money ever ahead of your plans, but simply because the share price itself is not reflecting the sort of attractiveness that a lot of people may want. And do bear in mind that maybe, especially people who might have been in there for a long time and maybe average down, Selling at an average of fourteen dollars per share might mean profit for them, mm-hmm. and so they could consider exiting at profit to go into something as big as Massey, mm-hmm. or even um, Spur Tree, or anything else that could come, mm-hmm. right? And so the strength of Signos, meaning that Signos Credit Investments is what I call the wallet of the group, is also the weakness 
and I could see a, 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 a very strategic leadership team, which I do believe they have. These guys have proved themselves to be strategic. Um, I could see a strategic leadership team saying, listen, late December, tell them about this thing. I mean, this is, I'm sure this didn't start happening tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes. But tell them about this thing to give them a reason to think, yo, I am not exiting heavily right now because it is the uh, one of the largest private companies in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. that you're going to go and do your research and find out that, wait, what kind of, what kind of currency Puerto Rico use? U.S. dollars, the thing that Jamaicans love to hear, mm -hmm. USD. Oh, that USD. Did so them growing. But if, and you, if you think, I, I've never gotten the idea that these guys don't care about share price. No, not, not completely. As in, they're yeah. And then they're in the finance game. If you check the top ten, as much mm -hmm. as I said, boy, they don't own and just small holding. You don't want to lose mm -hmm. those guys' money because. Mm -hmm. If you're in that ring, <laughs> you need you, exactly. you don't get you don't get that level of partnership. You need pensions to buy into your things. You need to do business with whoever. You're losing money, and he said, "No, but never, never again." These mm -hmm. guys aren't dumb. And the other companies within the group might have to take the hit. Mm -hmm. If the share price falls below, other companies within the group might have to take a hit to IFRS nine, depending on how they hold it, mm -hmm. or like, maybe they have as a parent um, company, them themselves, or they could have. Yeah, could take a hit, or they could have debt covenants linked to the share price privately that we don't know about. And so they're like, listen, we're good with it technically, but let's not have this thing hit 10 because I don't want to have that uncomfortable conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Because you've also seen what it looks like when they have, look what happened that quarter where um, COVID had just started and they pulled back an investment from somebody that they, they had an investment with. Mm -hmm. Amicable, the company really wasn't hit, but under the, the finance rules, they had to take a, a, I will call it an artificial hit mm -hmm. for one quarter. Look at Bill Gates hitting it. Yeah. And look at what the general public perception, how it shifted a bit, how the share price shifted. Mm -hmm. Massey, if I'm seeing Massey weeks away, and maybe G, yo, Q1 look like a storm, you know, bro? Yes. Q1 look like the perfect storm coming in. <laughs> What a time. There's so there's so many things that you might go, yo, we, we need to throw something out there to have people know that yo, we're not yo, defend this thing. Keep mm -hmm. keep it keep it good. And also I, maybe I don't want to have to spend the group's cash on buying our own shares to try and defend the share price. How we have other things to do with the money. Because they're very sensible with how they manage their money. Mm -hmm. They don't get money what they call the dry powder, they don't get dry powder willy nilly. They get it and they immediately they Easy. usually find something to do with it mm -hmm. and then they go and get it. Yeah. So it's a it's a really 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 interesting sort of setup it did for, for for nerds like me and and, oh, and, and, and it's, like, <laughs> it, it, it's it's a, it's a wonderful show because you don't know what's going to happen it's like a football match for me I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> it's so exciting but for other people it might not be as exciting especially if they have skin in the game there um, so yeah I can't wait to see what Q one looks like for them and their 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 life top 10 shareholding and these pensions can take a hit boy yeah. but I, was, I see a, I, I see a lot of boy these guys don't know what they're giving up can't believe you guys are selling signals mm -hmm. is that a complaint <laughs> <laughs> like it's like you're saying it's a bad thing but it's all it's all vexed about it so much because the truth is you know you bought that 18 and it's don't know you lose money on it and you have to make a decision immediately am i okay with that move money loss or, or exactly am i going to do now and i don't think anybody likes losing money as much as they say boy who is a long term and they tell themselves that water 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 that they carry rid of the feeling that you're okay cool about that 18 and it's down to 14 now you lost money you have to do something about it if you're buying you're buying if you're selling you're selling but you have to make a, you have to make a decision so that's the idea yeah, so it's, it's, I think that's exactly where that that comes from. The idea that I need to be talking out against people that are doing the thing because how oh, dare these guys do this wrong thing. That's uh, the way I talk about it. It works in my benefit, but I'm somehow complaining about it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's just a more it's a more it's a bit of maturity that needs to come to the general investor. And I think we're bringing it little by little through things mm -hmm. like this. Um, 
I'll show, I, 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 I'll debate with myself around Natasha Key this on private, but uh, so in my, in a, I, I'll share it. In my, in my grow, in my subscribers group, somebody just pointed out that um, they're at the airport, and, and again, it's uncorroborated. I don't know. It's, I guess, that, that a bunch of flights, JetBlue flights, I think four were supposed to come in. I have that right. Four were supposed to come in, or eight, something like that. Almost all JetBlue flights were canceled today. Only one has come in so far, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they think, oh my God, that's terrible because it, 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 we were just talking 10 minutes ago about tourists and wanting more tourists to come in. A lot of flights being canceled, and I suspect it's for Omicron reasons, um, pilots or whatever, probably COVID scare. But that the, the, the initial reaction is to think, oh my God, that's terrible, Jesus Christ. So we really have a threat. But if you, if you breathe calmly and just go one step further, you'll think and realize those planes come to Jamaica full. They don't leave Jamaica empty. They also leave Jamaica full. I think that that's your so yes, it, <laughs> right? off and come back. So they, exactly. They, 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 um, they do see a lot of, they do see a lot of, of people coming in. And of course, if the flights don't come in, it then means that, okay, we have missed a lot more new people coming in. But it also means that a lot of people who are going to leave are stuck here. Those yes. people have to Same eat. food, they might eat. Yeah, I think, those I think people have to drink. The fear in every... The, the, the moment, this is something that is confirming the fear of how they mm -hmm. have to work. With us first rule. So, yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah, immediate the, 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 when I saw it, okay, MB. all right, cool. It's which which they said the airport was Kingston. I think it was Montego Bay, but I could be I could be wrong. I didn't I, I didn't ask. But Montego either way, Moby is a bigger one, the bigger one. Plane, so. whatever, and I say it's Kingston. Kingston or MBJ Kingston. So immediately, okay, it lose, it lose some tourism. Even points. lighter. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's even lighter. Moby is the big one. Yeah, and Moby is a tourist one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I think the COVID scares are nice way to throw it out. The truth is that it actually find out what stopped that. And what COVID scare actually mm -hmm. like in how they talk about it. COVID scare from a flight coming in. What exactly is that? Is it it's it's not the people on the plane to get up and say, Well, it's cancel this flight because I'm not going to travel there because COVID scare whatever whatever. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then that's a very different thing mm -hmm. from the article earlier we saw about Tim the the other flights can't see in worldwide because the actual the actual in them again, those guys, the the airlines themselves, they're being understaffed because their their staffs are going to be catching COVID, so they can't reason a plane because not enough people can't be on it, that type of thing. That's mm -hmm. a very different thing from Jano Americans no longer flying because we just afraid of COVID again. And those guys afraid of COVID, they exactly. start to be honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, no, that they, they don't care. There is no COVID. Worse like Florida. There Florida. No COVID in Florida. Yo, that never stopped. That, that, yeah. never, that never happened. <laughs> but yeah, then no COVID those guys did not stop. Yeah. Outside. <laughs> um uh, uh yes, yeah, so that's that's an example of of, of live thinking where the first reaction is what might the, the market might think. And then a more reasoned reaction is to think through what that means. You, you know, actually I hear you saying it and I'm thinking I'm kind of vex that is not um Moby a little bit. Because I don't want it would do that some people stuck in the airport and I want some people stuck in the airport. <laughs> That's the truth. Drink some more coffee. Eat some more. <laughs> eat some more Aunt Annie's. I want some more people. I want some people stuck in the airport, right? So cool. Um, and that's just how I think. Because you, you can complain. The opportunity you can shift. The thing yeah. that, exactly. Cool. Exactly. So it's not coming to less people, but then end of December, the the quarter don't bake already. Somebody can get something there. Mm -hmm. Opportunity ship go somewhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's 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 the, a, a simple truth. That's simple thinking of it. Um, like that. Uh and if you want, I have two points. Let's flip a coin for one. Dividend, dividend talk. You touched on dividends a little earlier. Um, lab is gearing up to do their dividend i usually i do I, people who list us i talk to like no i don't actually talk about lab very often just so people don't beat me up about your own stuff but i tell people all the time listen take it for granted that anything you hear me talk about i own so <laughs> i own cpj i own dolphin cove i own 
any company you may talk about, I assume that I own it. Um, Lab does seem to be setting up for a dividend, and I suspect that they're 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 doing extremely well. Um, yeah, and, and the people who are sharp in terms of paying attention to the things happening, especially in the digital marketing space, mm -hmm. I think can notice what's happening. It's Christmas, and this is their Q1, which is usually their strongest, and they have been on a growth trajectory from them lift till now. And this is in Q1 that... in 2020, 2021 December compared to 2020. Mm -hmm. And so it was a year, you know, trust me, people, but <laughs> comparing to that year, that is almost easy for some companies. Think of Christmas last year. It never, it never, it never Christmas cycle, this Christmas, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the Christmas where people just, that will just stop here. And the companies are like, yo, we've gotten over the fear. We know we need to, we know we have to have the right mix. After a lot, and there are new companies trying to attract people in new ways. Mm -hmm. And any new company that 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 assuming that lab is involved with any new company, any new company involved with is new revenue, right? New revenue, new profits, new new money. Um, so I, for the people who actually care about dividends, see them say that they have a dividend consideration for the meeting on Wednesday, knowing that their full year results come out are due. I don't know come out, but are due the next day, the thirtieth. Mm -hmm. Um, I suspect that that's a good sign. Um, and again, I give my own bias here. I do own shares in the lab, but assume that anything you hear me talk about, I own shares in, right? Um, uh, if, if, if you investigate, you're going to find out that, yes, I'm really doing what I say. I, I want to make money. Uh, <laughs> on that point, too, Pesco that's, that's had a change in their... <laughs> it's, it's always a surprising. Um, it's, it's, Pesco... it's actually surprising because I know, I know many that talk and don't. Well, if you, you are in it, the space long enough to know that people have said that they don't invest for profit. Um, and I'm happy that we've moved away from that, that age. <laughs> uh, Fesco put out an updated dividend policy. The yes. only thing that it caught my eye that I was interested in is the fact that they said that they... Um, double up. Double up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Standard dividend schedule for biannual dividend payments. So already, if you're smart, you know what that mean in terms of your plannings and so on, right? I'll talk about that stuff more at my grower classes if you want to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and putting out a policy is good. It's not a law, it's not a rule, but at least putting out a policy is good. And I'm impressed that a company, a new company, with not, not has been around that long, is able to put together a policy without forming a committee and waiting it's forever bro, it's, and it's tying out funny. people. You it's think, it's amazing, know, right? <laughs> you think and they don't it's... seem to be a multinational. Think of it this way. The larger ones, they've paid dividends before. They're in a group that has paid dividends before. Mm -hmm. That group has companies that takes or that, that often takes dividends. You know, I think, you know, the, the, is, is the, is the, the new guys would need a policy. But I, I guess different stroke, yeah. different folks, right? <laughs> yeah it, it's crazy thing but I, I, I always say that you know just to cement the point that if you if you want to think realistically about a company and how they can decide if they can afford a dividend or not it really comes down to understanding their business mm -hmm. and understanding their cash flow and having to do a test on that right and so maybe a, a multinational who has done a study to understand their business and their cash flow wouldn't tie people out with rubbish about needing to wait another time to maybe mm -hmm. consider to give a dividend. A multinational but, that you know, discover that they can pay from revenue. Yeah, quite the Mexican think. standard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> joking. Um, Fontana, if you were to raise, I hear them talking about, about, about they, they've raised half a mil, uh -huh. half a bill. Apologies. I remember when we, first, we, we, when we first spoke about this, the thought was that with them talking early, so it's likely that they should think that, but the raise is still a raise, so the talking early might be a, might, might still be for that market. And mm -hmm. there's nothing to say it won't come to our market where we can participate. In. So yeah. that raise. For anybody wondering what Danai means, yeah, when he says that market, he means the debt market versus doing a right issue or even an APO. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, I, I put the counter, yeah, I put the counterpoint. Can they actually do a, a raise? 
Yeah, they have money for it. Very well. Uh, who said it's retained? When they first came to market, uproar mm -hmm. in the industry because why the hell would they not take more money for the IPO? They left mm -hmm. so much on the table. Remember, the price was 188 and the PE was killer, and everybody was saying, no, nah, man, they could have double that and get the money anyway. And they did. True. True. They so, did not. That's true. Quite a lot left. They can definitely raise, though not the 500 million, because you know the 500 million they do their market money. So, but mm -hmm. do they have to cut on the debt fully? And. Mm -hmm. For me, though, I would say, like, why am I going to do the, the, the work that you could do to get 500 mil is the mm -hmm. same work you're going to do, assuming you raise to get 250 or 230 or whatever they, they can actually raise. Mm -hmm. So why do the work of 230? Why do the work of 500 to only get 230? Mm -hmm. But cash is cash, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, and location. they're having a statement. Actually, yeah. And their location, at the more I think so about ahead, it, ahead, they can. Mm -hmm. New location, if they go into it and raise the payoff, at least even the portion, they have increased business to pay on top of that business is going to be debt, we'd have debt in it anyway. And this debt might not only be around the building for thing there. It might push into the actual operation of the business and they can refinance at that point and all that niceness that whatever companies do. And they can raise at a better level later down with a larger business. Mm. I mean, all right, so if it is later in this next year, mm. it's pretty much 2022. You know? So if they raise later in 2022, but before they do the Portmore expansion, or, or raise, yeah, raise late 2022 before they do the Portmore expansion, you're still limited to 230 unless you're going to leave the junior market. Junior market. Behind. But and then, they, I mean, that's there's... the problem in itself. They've been profited. So they Meaning have what? Taxes to pay back. I don't think but, you have taxes to pay back. Okay, man. If you leave doing a market early, you're not delisting. You're not you're delisting. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're fine. Yeah. They can well do that. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, like, is that worth it? But then that's, that's, that's where you start getting deep into Fontana, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah well. Like, is it worth giving up? Because I think they have, in 2023, they, they jumped to the 50 percent tax. Mm -hmm. And they're expanding, on, they're expanding Maybe, on top of that makes it. Yeah. And then they might even think that. Hey. And that's when they're doing the expansion, 2023, mm -hmm. right? 2023. They can raise after the expansion. I mean, they did leave True, but before, you should do it right for now. Where you want to raise you know your best, right? Yeah, and well, you, you borrow, do what you're doing, and then you raise mm -hmm. to pay off the debt. So you remove the risk of not having it done. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's another interesting movie. Um, mm -hmm. For stock I own none of. <laughs> Same. Yeah, yeah, I'll say, I'll say it I, I wasn't really looking far too much outside of a race from Fontana over the next thing there. I think mm -hmm. at the price it is no. There's, there's still some, we can we can push for more. There's like a $9, $8, $8 stock, finally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But uh, at, so without the thing there, between until they actually do the thing, the wedding again, until they actually do the building, whatever, whatever, pushing much mm -hmm. further beyond this, might not be so much. So it might be boring on for a while. And this is this this that thing can cut into the profits for a while. Or oh, exactly the setup? Did they say anything about that? I don't remember that. Um, I think the, the top of my head, what, what, you, what people will be seeing on the screen here is that I think it is one of the, I think it's set up in a way where if the rates fall, they can enjoy the fall in the rates. But I mean, the payments. cap on how much it can rise. Interest payments, as I'm talking about. Is there anything around, boy, you know, you don't pay interest or anything like that? Something like that. Because otherwise, then they're raising money with paying interest on this for bit and no new business happening just yet. It's just an organic business growing out of the actual expansion. You don't get any money from that for a whole year mm -hmm. until until that thing is built and running. There's no money coming in from that place, so you're paying a higher debt burden before you actually make the money for the thing. So this might cut into the profits and it's, you might see a fall off, which is good because mm -hmm. then immediately when Fontana are profitable on a new location, the whole that whole business then is much bigger. Looking at a lower price, 
basically imagine that seven dollars going into the, that new business versus five dollars going to that new business yeah but you know what uh, add to that i think i think they learned from the from the oh definitely the they, they even talk about it in my last time that when we were talking about it and then this time they come out and say we don't expect the profitability immediately we're going to lose money with just that <laughs> yeah but i but think no. they've learned also how to expand maybe more profitably and yo mm -hmm. the second thing that people send me the most pictures of is crows Fontana. at Fontana. Uh -huh. It's airport crowds and Fontana crowds. And you see it on Twitter too. Oh, yes. People are saying, them go, say, yeah, them go, Fontana go Fontana for one thing and one then thing leave with the host. Yeah, that's a good money. That's, that's a good business. I like that. And I, I don't, yeah. It, it doesn't yeah. drive me to buy it, but I like that kind of thing for a business. Think of it if you own, if you own that business, and, it's, and you say you own Fontana fully, and every day you're logging, it's people talking about your business like that. Yeah, nice one. And imagine that. I think people who own Fontana, own Fontana are on should feel that way. Yes. Every day. I mean, yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah. Fontana and Twitter. So on Twitter, period, yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah, it's, it, but it's one of those companies that people really want to love. Like, mm -hmm. what's another Palace. one? Palace. My God, people really want to love Palace Amusement. People really want to love really? it. <laughs> to the point where they start believing whatever they want to believe about it. Boy, Palace is yeah why is it doing better than it just just the other day which means you're great now <laughs> so everybody wants to see happen yeah. yeah um i i think well, maybe we can talk about palace Hunter. i don't want to drag it out but palace people, as you said, people really love palace and spider-man no way home is really inspiring a lot of people what i will say for the general thought is that how much a movie ticket now I, I just go movie, you know, so man. I, I don't love jobs. Oh, yes. Yo, you're really outside, brother. In a limited fashion, no boss. <laughs> <laughs> so limited. Hotel, hotel again. You go, you, you want to money? Oh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> a weekend, I think. Yeah. Couldn't miss it. Couldn't uh, miss it. That. I have not watched anything. Is it good? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Uh, I haven't watched anything yet. I, I, I meant to watch. I, I was hoping tonight to watch um, Matrix, Matrix, actually. I might, yeah. I might do the same. But I'm tired, brother. I've been, I've been, <laughs> I'm tired. I, I feel like I, I'm going to turn it on and go sleep immediately. But I'm happy that a lot of people have been going to, to Spider-Man. And it reminds me of the Black Panther rush. Mm -hmm, it and does. so far, that's, that's the an crowds, easy bro. For you. The crowd's there. Go it and look. Yeah. At what Palace's numbers look like post Black Panther, mm -hmm. and consider if it might look like that post Spider Man because they were good as a company during the mm -hmm. Black Panther time. Right? No, I, but it's, I, it's, I want I want to throw some something on that, some cool water on that fire, just in case. You know, I, don't, I, I just generally when I went there, the crowd strong, like strong, 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 strong. Mm -hmm. But end of the day, when you go inside it, the the cinema empty stills because really? the, the yeah because i did, remember they have the habit that they, they can't have everybody piled beside each other oh. so there was a there's a very very small amount of rows that were filled. did they have more do they have more viewings as a result uh i don't think so because, no because we have things that we still have curfew and then they'll decide that yo they, uh, the I theater think, earlier. Actually, I think, I think I'm lying. I think I'm lying. I think they actually have an earlier viewing now. Just one? I think so. I, I, I did definitely check up on that. But yeah. my mind is telling me I saw something earlier with an earlier viewing there. But then but, with limited yeah, seating, regardless, regardless it's still. Probably thing there. Limited seating will take them. It, yeah. it, it will affect them. Yeah, that will affect them regardless. Um, yeah. That's now, the sort of thing. To the point where. Oh. All right, so somebody from the other cinema was two viewings of spider-man at the same time somebody from the other cinema they had bought a ticket at a different time and they came to our cinema no hassle because it wasn't like there was a seat missing now when they sat like the cinema they left from was empty they came over to our cinema because they wanted it was a group thing and they came over to our cinema Ta -ta. and they were it nothing like it was fine because yeah like it was people like really somebody, want somebody, to. somebody lose a seat now. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was very, very <laughs> empty. People, people just really, people really want to love um, Palace as a stock. Uh, 
And yeah, it's, it's like earlier viewing. Yeah, round three of that. Earlier viewing. So Just I'm one. Viewing. Uh, I'm seeing. So they're doing that. Yes, just one, but they're doing, they're doing it in a way now. So it's not thing there. They're doubling up cinemas for the popular movies, which is good. Like what we're doing mm -hmm. with Quantum. So you could have seen two viewings of Batman at the same time. So you know, you say I could do it with Spider Man at the same time. But yeah. you're not seeing an extra viewing. You know, you're not seeing, you're not seeing four or so viewings. It's just three. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, Big up, big up, Jen again in the group who just pointed out that when she went, like, yeah, apparently nobody cares about Omicron. <laughs> uh, when she went on Sunday, there were five. They were showing it in five theaters. Five. Good but the move. theaters weren't full. Uh huh. Yeah. So, but, 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 the restrictions. But that might be good. That might be good, meaning you're also not paying for a lot of movies. Yes. Which, yeah. You think. Yeah, so it maybe expenses are a lot. Were people eating at least during the um during the oh, yeah, man. The, the, <laughs> yeah the break, the break and before. Uh, uh, in fact, the line was so full for the food line that mm -hmm. I missed the very 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 fast first part of the movie because I was waiting on the food line. So yeah, Word. that food so, you know, line. You know, we're gonna for the anthem. And things were no 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 yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what's that part of all. Missed the trailers and everything because the food line was that long. And oh, wow. things were selling out. And they have to, uh, in fact, you could, you could have seen inventory management. They weren't putting all the hot dogs on. Ice tea wasn't there. They're making sure that they own it. Just giving out it, just, I think we're just managing margins at that point. So, mm -hmm. control, that's the one that we were see what we need to see for what people want to see, for what people want to see all the time. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. My, my external view is that that company could do with some some new management, some new blood. I mean, like the, the sheer price, split the thing. Split, there's no oh, need yes, for it here. Split, yeah. split the price. But I suspect that it, I mean, Palace is one of the oldest companies on the exchange. Mm -hmm. right? they're, 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 I could be wrong, pinch us up. But I think they're actually older than the exchange. Mm -hmm. So I think so as well. The exchange, yeah, so the exchange would be the 60s. And I think they're being traded from long before. They're one of the first companies on the exchange. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that, and their family owned and controlled the Catholic yeah. Church, own a big chunk. I think that that's uh, my impression is that sort of older thinking. Older the, era, the, the view man. stock splits as bad. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the view like, of stock splits as bad. You split, but you don't have to sell, but some with a problem. Yeah, that type of thing. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, but now I, I split the stock, and then you know, let regular people, let the regulars back. Mm -hmm. My $1,500 yeah. stock? Yeah. That's yeah. cool, us. Imagine. <laughs> Yeah. The thinking, but again, that's our external view. Could be wrong. That's no um, idea. It's funny though. A movie ticket costs more than a than, than a single share. Mm -hmm. All right, so do it that way you will. If you really love the stock, there you go. You you can make that hard decision, or you can link the night final if you really should make a sensible decision. But people really want to. People yeah. really, really, really want to love Palace. Um. As, as as stocks go there are some yeah. companies that people really really want to love which of course bring us to the big the big one. Oh, sorry go ahead go ahead so one of the best things they can do for yourself there is get a divorce if you love the company so much then very often you lean into going to bother with potatoes no matter find something else if you, if you when you force yourself to find some other thing you love very often you find what mm -hmm. you need to find truthfully spitting gems <laughs> <laughs> As always, right? Gems, 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 bro. Gems. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I bring us to the big one, the one that everybody uh, really, really is is hype. Uh, really, are hyped about these days. Spur tree, the one on the spur tree. I can pick up mindmoneyja.com early on the market with just a couple of the early results. As far. The prospectus is also there. Couple of early annual results, um, PE ratio. When you work your PE ratio, what you get? You get the same 12.5 that you see in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I've heard different numbers. I've heard 20 odd. I've heard very, very 12.5. No, people, I think some people are using those thing there. We're using the previous year. So they weren't adding in everything mm -hmm. that's, that's going to be. That's actually on the numbers. Yeah. I've not even, you, you gone through the prospectus yet? Not fully. Uh, enough to advise, but the nitty gritty and general. So enough to advise and say, all right, it's a good buy for the IPO and preliminary mm -hmm. expectations are always good. But 
I'm still under protection of well over a year and what exactly, but but exactly I think you will be moving for over that year. So a lot more mm. to come, but enough for the client them that looking at it now and if it's a good decision, I can give them some of our informed decision around that. But definitely we tighten up and go further. Definitely yeah. this weekend. Inter I go in deep point too because I'm doing it at Grow on um, Monday. I decided mo tomorrow, obviously, is Christmas. Um, day after that is is Boxing Day, Sunday. Monday, because in Jamaica, like many places, if you get a public holiday on a Sunday, then the Monday is when it's moved to. So I figure even if people go around Christmas, then eat the food. Boxing Day, then you do whatever you want to do. I figure Monday mm -hmm. you can take some time and do this. If you care about it, if you don't, you don't, that's just how you go. But I, I do it. And usually, as the people have done grow now, I tend to focus. I, the things that we teach there in a very real way. I use a company, but I'm going to use Spur Tree um, there. So, of course, that limits what I'll say here. But um, you can say things for people on here. But I mean, I like it from what I've seen so far. And they have the thing that Jamaicans love, especially uptown Jamaicans USD. D, yes. Yeah, Bro. US yeah. dollars. It's funny. Somebody message me. Somebody message a friend message. I got a a friend message man said, "To the IPO, he's hoping it's for us or me." I'm saying US expansion. I'm like, bro, most of the business is already in the US. <laughs> yeah, it's a typical so, thing. Yeah, this is a yeah, it's, it's, it's a good one. It's, it's, it's a good, interesting yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, you know, my thought was, I wonder if Jam Key could take a oh. stay. <laughs> but now we're talking, boy. Now we're talk I mean, I think almost certainly QWI QWI will touch it. Yeah. Yeah. I think but almost certainly. This can be a nice thing for them to pull on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's funny. I have in the past in conversations with business people, um, how do I walk the line of this now? You, you, like I would say, just like what you say, is it something that Jam T would take a stake in, right? And I've had other situations like that. And the response generally from the business people is, no, that's our competition. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you think I don't want to own that guy's business? The one that pressuring me? You think I don't want to own it? Why? Suppose him win. <laughs> oh, we <you> win. <laughs> Imagine when he's big, I run on him shareholder right. list and said that I own 20% of the company in my bill for how long and he might try to pressure right. that night. <laughs> I, 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 I can't understand the thinking. I can't understand the thinking. But imagine it, it's imagine a walking on your computer board because you have 10% more. <laughs> yeah, you know how such a go drop here. <laughs> <laughs> so um if it, 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 it's a different thinking that i'm hoping that we're moving forward with but the spirit tree i'm excited to see this sort of thing I, I like it i like how i like how they put forward all. you know what you know what i really like i like this if it's one thing i can put out there i hope every single one of them people are in the back of this picture by yes. shares every single yes. one of, i hope all of them do it Jeez, you know you whenever, I, I don't i i said i was gonna say but whenever i see the employee you said it before actually when i was in the employee share pool not taken up and i'm really hoping that we i, I was I, every time every time i bill i say i wonder if it great change now i mean sometimes i know it has happened where and you say employee pool but it's really management alone mm -hmm. i suspect i don't know anybody at the company I, um but i suspect that the, the managers here who are at the front and the owners i suspect that they are truly giving the opportunity to all their workers Mm -hmm. And um, I really, really, really hope that every worker take it up. If I work on listening Same. to this, I can't tell you to buy the stock. But what I can tell you that my personal view is that anybody who works for a listed company should own shares in that company. And if you work for a company that is listing, it is one of the greatest chances to own shares to own, in that company yeah. from the from the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um, that's my personal view. I saw this picture and I was so happy to it. And I, I'm always proud when Jamaican core Jamaican companies who have tried things, do things, bring bring themselves to the market and mm. bring the people along with them. Yeah. You know how much lives can change off of this? Yeah. 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 This, I, I saw this picture and I was so happy about it. 
Um, it's always thing they know. It's always what I mean. Actually, hear actual stories about how employees that list in listed companies when they take us mm-hmm. when they when they took a stake or whatever, and how it actually changed. Like how how they keep dropping. <laughs> uh, about what's in there? Mayberry's investment culture about how everybody there invests. Uh-huh. I wouldn't be surprised if that started when the IPO back in the day. Mm. Mayberry has a strong history that in. I don't know. I don't. That that's that's good. Yo, the market history is so good. You know, that Mayberry IPO GK. I didn't know that. Sprinkle salt. I could be wrong. I think I heard doctors said sprinkle salt. I'm very tired. I could be wrong, but I think it, I think they did. But regardless, even just GK's story, an American company here, Jamaican managers, eventually things shift in the international market and local managers took the chance to buy out. And I, I, I'm pushing. there's so many stalwart companies now, household name companies that started that way. What's, what's started exactly? J- Jam T, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I think Jam T used to be. Yes, yeah, so it used te- to be. Te- mm-hmm. Yeah. See, yo, it is it is a, a wonderful thing to see. Um, Imagine working and, somewhere for whole long, and then you know, say, well, say we're, we're closing this, we're getting out, and we probably sell it to somebody. And then you and you say, oh, yeah, you, you probably say, I want to buy it. And you want him go to the bank and him start to go with you. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's NCB though, right? Yes. Yeah, that's NCB. NCB sold. Wow. Mm-hmm. What them sell? What's the name of it? I always forget the name of it. The insurance company I just sold. A lie. Uh, it's not, uh, AGIC. Advantage. AGIC. Advantage. And I think 30% went to the CEO. The CEO yeah. bought 30%. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Lovely. I love seeing that. So if we go. that that's how you grow. That, that's real generational wealth. That's that. Be the difference between ownership on the salary, and then that guy sees and say, I've done this work for how long, and mm-hmm. I'm in a position where it's more than just a salary coming to me. My work is directly correlated to Jano Star, the profits that I bring into this company, a piece that is going back to me. That's yeah. a crazy thing, and it, it yeah. changes everything. It changed mm-hmm. yeah, from, from when it's yours, it changes everything, brother. You know, from morning. My work, I'm a sit on I'm a desk, vex with myself. So, my work, who am I gonna cuss? Exactly. <laughs> oh, yo, bro, <laughs> bro, when I have a long, I work from nine to seven. When my days are full, my days have been full, as you know, from December. When, when I do that, call me vex, I don't know the name, I'm tired, and whatever. But just, just, just a little light at the end of that tunnel because it's cool. I know where my work going. When you're working, when you work, when you work for somebody, I say it's a bad thing. I've never, guys, we're never those guys. We're never going to be the shame for being in exposition or whatever, whatever. Yeah, so it's not for everybody. It's, it's not for it, everybody. Trust me, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So many days I hate it. I won't lie to you. Today I hate it. You want to see me? I say, well, yeah, tweet about the space, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> when I sell things, my virgin ass, what I'm doing later, and I say work. <laughs> And he's like Christmas EP owns his own place, and him think that him close him office for the day today. Say not done today, but I'm here at work. Yeah. So you're going in at the early stage, brother. Mm-hmm. I have nobody else for you to blame, but yeah, the beauty, the beauty happens. The beautiful thing happens when you're in another company that gives you the chance to shift it. They even halfway shift it. So mm-hmm. definitely not financial advice. But if you're listening to me and you work at Spur Tree, I think it's a good opportunity. In your shoes, I would want to own Spur Tree. And there's a reserve class of shares. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're not fighting, with, you're not fighting with, with the world for your shares. Exactly. 10 million shares reserved for Spur Tree stuff. I uh, for me. Big, up, I, big up the bosses. If they're putting this right through the line, big them up completely. This is how you change people's lives. Mm-hmm. Um, Bro, and and I them? think it's all. You say, say? If I work, if I work at a place as we speak, you know, walk around to mm-hmm. everybody. What now? This that not going, not going, not going to take the shares. I'm gonna say, yo, oh, oh, cool, you take it. <laughs> Me like you the money. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> well, I've, I've worked at all. Oh. Athan with listed companies, and I've mm-hmm. also obviously I did a lot of work with the lab, including helping around the listing. And um, I, I mean, what you hear me saying now is what I said to them then, and a lot of the people there did it, and I'm happy that they did it, and I, I'm proud of them, and I hope the same thing happened here. Um, of course, it's even more important because I think this thing is going to be heavily oversubscribed. I see. Yeah, I think it's going to be heavily oversubscribed. Yeah. 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 Heavily, heavily. So for 10 mil that you only have to worry about fighting with the other co workers for is makes it even more attractive. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. If I was working there, if it even means enough to borrow money for buy, I would oh, definitely. do that too. Yeah. I would probably do that if I were there. Yeah. But into the depth of spiritual and what can happen and the timings around it, your yeah, options for official conversation on that. Um, you want to hear my view and learn how I look at it, because that's what I'm going to be teaching at Grow uh, on Monday. Um, then you can sign up for Grow. Uh, also, if you sign up for Grow, you do get a code to get a five grand discount from Danai, who's the other person you can talk to. If you don't want to do all that work, you can have Danai do that work for you. And again, I vouch for him openly and publicly because he knows what he's doing and the reputation is there. He, every day, you open Twitter, you see the people saying, Danai! Not nice when people like when people make money from from either learning or you teach them and applying it, or I guess in your case, then I actively tell them and Yo, they do it and, and see. When whenever I see those tweets, you know, bro. <laughs> like I, I reach out and say, "General star," like it's it's a, it's a it's a very big difference. I remember thinking that somebody just said, "Oh, she, she had a client recently that mm-hmm. she wanted to think that she wanted to f- fly out to go see her family." And she made the money in a very short time. She did the money and tweet same time say, Yo, she made a plane ticket. Time now. I don't know that. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using your saps, but it's really getting more right. Get used to it, brother. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard people who grow up tell me about school and pay for, family emergency, death in the family, um, just things you never expect, roughing what they never think they could do. Traveling anything I never could have do. The last big one that stick with me was actually earlier this year, where they, they I, I think I might have said it before. They had a three-year plan to pay for the house deposit, and they make it in. They make it by about July. Mm-hmm. Imagine you plan to do something in three years, and you get it in like what five, six months. Mm-hmm. One cash out and, and put the money on the house same time, mm-hmm. same time. They, 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 were, they were asked, link me after she put on the host deposit and say, it worked. <laughs> Proud of that. Yeah, you get used to the saps. You get used to being a sap because you're going to hear it. And because you're dealing directly with the people, you're going mm-hmm. to hear it. You're going to see the real it's change you're making in their life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I want more of this. I want a holy, holy, holy more of this. This is what generational wealth look like. And you're making some billionaires. Couple of years, these gentlemen and hopefully later at the front are going to be billionaires too. So, mm. yeah, big That's up, big up them, idea. big up everybody there. Yeah. Mm. All right, we've been talking for a long time, and um, I did promise to bring people in. So I think we will I'll try and bring people in now. We won't go too long because again, you hear that nice about to hit the streets. Bro, God let everybody out till one a.m., which really mean wait, there's no one a.m. There's no curfew, right? It's one a.m. Up to one a.m. Oh yeah, so there's no curfew. Um, so <laughs> yeah. if you have a question, <laughs> I'm joking by the way, guys. Respect the curfew, yada yada. Um, if you have a question, a comment, anything like that, now is the time to send a speaking request, and we will approve it. Hear what you have to say. I will give the caveat that I, if, like, if your account look weird to me, like fake or anything like that, I might not approve it. Um, outside of that, yes, yeah, send, send a speaking request if you have any questions. <laughs> On anything at all, and we will answer it if we can. Duffy Lado is here with a question early. Duffy, I hope you have a good, good connection and a great, even better question. Um, it says connecting. So while we wait, so again, if you're in the space or if you're on, if you're on YouTube, you can send a question there. We'll try and um, speak to it. But we really like if people got their verbal questions out. So Duffy, can you hear us? You can just unmute. Evening. Oh, hey. since I keep, okay. Yeah, since I keep having um, my connection problems, I'll share this to this space. 
Okay, but go ahead and say here. Why not? Oh no, I'm just reminding you about the question about the um in um uh investors versus economists. Why it's easy to find a rich investor and not a rich economist. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, skin in the game. <laughs> oh my God! Skin in the game. Duffy, Duffy is 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 almost Jesus' birthday, according to some people. You know, you, you can't come with war, no. <laughs> uh, but, so, her question: If anybody in the space, you can see it at the top of your screen. All right. Well, it's was, really it's really personal for me because both of my parents are economists, and in my opinion, they're not rich people, and I can talk about it all the time. And they always lecture me and they always go into like these long tirades about money and the markets and that, 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 that. and I always have to be like, I have to ask you, why aren't you Michael Leaching? Like you're you're not poor, but you're not like spending billions to me on my birthday. Why is why is that the case? So yeah. I don't know. Both of our needs are appearance, Randy. Right? <laughs> Duffy, I don't know why your parents aren't leeching. Um, I can't diss them for you. Thank you for telling me that bit before we started. Fox. <laughs> um, but uh, but I, I, I can tell you that you, 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 your parents probably did the best they could, they could. So give them a little bit of, of, of grace, uh, please. Um, I understand. And, <laughs> yeah. that's good too. Or maybe the stop. <laughs> you know what? Maybe the stop. Here, what, Duffy? Your parents are. How, how old are your parents? Uh, my father is 60-something and my mother is 57, I think. All right. So they were in their 30s in the 90s. During the time where you hear us, the age, like I'm, I'm, I'm 35. Then I is, then how old are you? 28, I think. <laughs> so then I 28, he thinks I'm 35, I think um when your parents were this age jamaica the, the, the term financial was being said on the news along with the term murders right that turned a lot of people off that little age that little time period that we went through killed a lot of the general level of financial literacy in jamaica as a kid then um but I, the, the glasses are real so i've been a nerd for a long time and my parents are not financial people at all at all come from a poor family but i'm happy that they they, they, they they encourage me to learn things and i can tell you now at my age that it makes a world of difference in understanding that your parents aren't perfect and you and they only look god like to you and like the things that they never provide is why aren't you doing it then maybe they never know and i get the economist slant right because i've said it then i said it I personally look at economists and accountants weirdly because those are the two sets of people who I think should invest mm -hmm. but don't. Accountants rarely invest in my view. Economists even worse. They talk about it a lot but they don't put their money where their mouth is in my view. But you give them some grace because the time in which they came up I think was rough for them. What I can tell you that I have seen the change, not with my parents, but I've seen with other people is that maybe you can show them. Maybe you can do it and it can change their mind, right? Mm -hmm. As to generally speaking though, why it's, a, why, why it's um, as you say, you need to know why it's easy to find a rich investor, but not a rich economist. I tell you that maybe you might be surprised. It might not be that you can find a rich investor also, right? <laughs> um oh. yeah my personal view is that an econ my personal view is that an economist generally isn't held to task for his or her predictions right if i think that the general movement of gdp over the next 10 years will be blah 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 who gives that damn in 2031 whether or not that's right or wrong even even if i have a integral role in government and help guide policy if i get it wrong 10 years from now i will be giving a speech on what went wrong and why it wasn't the perfect thing. i mean the first person ever to tell me that we've never really tried real communism is an economist right um which is to say not that what we've tried didn't work but the rules weren't really being followed 
they're generally, in my personal view, not held to task for their predictions in the investment game, in the stock part of the investment game. The actual act of what you're doing holds you to task because if you get it wrong, you know because the share price get on your holdings go down, right? Um, and so it's just a matter of two people talking about a certain thing, but only one of them is actively, as you heard Danai say, putting skin in the game. Only one of them is actively involved in getting it or having to get it right. And oftentimes what you find is that, like in investing, at least I'll speak again locally and from my own experience, what you find is that oftentimes if you're good at it and you pay attention to the real factors that matter, you start to see things that will indicate a possible investment gain in the future, but it doesn't sound like what the typical answer should be. An economist gets his or her fame from putting together things that should be, that sound good, that are acceptable by your peers, accepted by your peers, known for speaking on this thing. Mm -hmm. An investor gains his or her, his or her um, reputation by being, right by, it. by being right about what they put out there, right? So that's why you hear me talk so much about the view on key insurance when I was saying I'm buying it. That's why you hear me talk so much about the view on on bad, comp, bad typically thought of as bad or worthless companies when we're going into it. That's why you hear me speak so strongly on the factors that actually influence profits, making profits in the local market versus the typical thought. Because the typical answers, you can Google and hear. Investopedia will tell you the typical answers, right? You do investment, the typical investment course. You do accounting 101, anything like that. You read Frank Supply Wood's and course. Demand. Supply, Supply and demand. demand. Yeah, and, and they're not wrong. But the reality of what the yeah. thing is that they're saying, generally they don't get into it. They don't know. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when they hear you talking about it, it sounds different. So you might not find a very rich economist because it's very rare that an economist is to make money from his or her predictions. Yeah. You will only find rich investors if they have made money from his or their their his or her investment predictions. So that, the that's says, the simple truth. Why is it easy to find rich investors? It's not easy to find rich investors. It just happens that At people all. who are rich are investors. Because I leech in bought NCB or uh, uh, ultimately use NCB. Leachin did what he did in the past. He invested money into something and that said something became larger long before it, before the NCB rolled. But at every step of the day, that was what he had to do. Versus saying I got it wrong, you wouldn't know someone an investor. <laughs> like, a Failed investor. Here, that's what it would yeah, be. That's 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 more common than anything else, in fact. It, most investors I don't I don't think most investors are rich. I think most investors are regular people. Uh, if you have a pension, you're an investor. All the best investors, all the best investors say exactly what we say. You don't need to be a genius to be a good investor. The world famous Warren Buffett, if you listen to any of the things that he says outside of the truisms, will tell you that it's not difficult. That's why he says it in such simple terms. It's not difficult. I just looked at something that I know people couldn't do without, and I bought all of it. <laughs> I mean, so in fact, that's, he's, he's very critical of anything that sounds that that starts to sound difficult. He's very critical of anything that I need to explain it in a certain way that you don't need, you don't get it very quickly. I know it, it starts sounding unprofitable. Yeah, yeah, and 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 econ and economists tell you the same thing that lawyers tell you. I remember once an economist, well, he's not an economist, he's a finance guy, but he, he um, said, we were having a, a conversation about something about the economy, and he said, you know, listen, the way I see it, only economists should speak on the economy. And I thought, that makes so much sense that you'd think that, because you want to be separate from the people. An investor cannot afford to do that. The best investors do like what you hear than I do. I'm go movie, I'm go to hotel, Couple months later, him go back to see if them change what them doing. I do the same thing. I talk to everybody everywhere I go. I go. Sometimes I come through Kingston Airport. Sometimes I go through Mobe Airport. 
and a good investor is infinitely practical the and maybe lives. that's yeah the economy is lives literal regular people so you can't separate, uh, what's, I, happening. I, you can't separate what's happening with people from what's happening with the economy there's exactly. when we hear these numbers out there we hear what people are doing just read on in a nice way though that's so fancy yeah You'll notice that if you listen to us for a while, we never go into like, you know what, the debt servicing ratio of rivalry. That don't mean nothing. Because um Nicholas Bennett listening to to, to this on um on his phone or watching it on YouTube, he isn't buying a stock because of that, right? In buying a stock because yo mugga party every night. And I water did it every night. And part of it stop. And now party start back. And we sink or sell water. That will make him a millionaire, and a, and a, and an expert might tell you why it would never work. And then when it does work, an expert would tell you, well, you're lucky it worked one time, but you can't repeat. So give your parents some grace. Maybe you try it with them. Maybe you buy them a class. If you're buying it, you know, just for you, DM me, and I will give you a discount code if you buy both your parents a class. You can come too. And maybe all three you learn about it and you try something next year. But try it. Don't, don't beat them up too much. It's not their fault. Mm -hmm. The 90s was a rough, rough. Uh, don't worry. I already have my class and stuff plans for your class with people. But I appreciate it you saying you know, the whole age thing. Because when I do talk about investing, they push me towards house and hand, which is what they do. So it's like, I understand what you're saying about the uncertainty because when I start talking to them about stocks, it's like that. I, it's not, you know that little um, flashback meme with the dog in the middle of war and stuff like that. That's the kind of look they get on their face. When I start talking about stock, but then when I start talking about, when I start talking about, when I do something to my house in the land, they're more supportive of that. So I understand, like, that explain your explanation about the strength of that puts it in perspective. So yeah, I will, I will beat them up too much about not being billionaires and being economists. Yeah, man. And trust me, you, you, you might you live at the best time where you could actually help them become billionaires still. What were you saying, Joseph Madanaj? Uh, it's like, uh, we talk about him again, the change in minds. I always mm -hmm. think about a change in my appearance from me doing what I do now. And just, just the whole journey of it and how, how mm -hmm. exactly they see what I'm doing and everything around. I never grew up on money investment. My parents, in fact, my uncle tells me about him, my father, and another friend. They started an investment account back in the day, and their plan was that they were going to buy stocks and for a very long time, and that was derailed very quickly. It stopped. Not, not, they can't even, they know they have share search share, share somewhere, and not, they don't follow the photo. But my parents are teachers. So it wasn't a money thing. It wasn't, they were just trying to do something about it just never happened. And that very quickly went out the window for them. And my whole life, the way you're not born on stock market, I hear ONJ, I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about. <laughs> right? Yeah. So big up Kim Bajo, go to school and she gave me some practicality around that. But, big up Kim every time. Yeah. It's a yeah. very big change there. And what's what I'm talking about now, that whole talk about get the house versus whatever, whatever. My mother is very, she's very, she very much before now. That was a talk. All right. You get a whole saying, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. All car, you can buy. Everyone is still jokes with me about buying a car. I'm tell you, mom, it's good, you know. <laughs> yeah, because really, my money to do whatever. So I think that and the, how okay my parents are with, with where my money is going now is a very big shift in my family. And you have to I think show my, them. I think my, yeah, I think my brother should, should really. Tell me thanks for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they got some big arrangement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, big, big up your brother then. Your brother have a hell of a business. I see him decides he's not work for the Christmas. No vet work mm -hmm. for the Christmas. Yeah, and that, that, <laughs> that guy that uh, I think was a worker. I think it's good that he took the break because the work being being on him. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. But doing well. That's, so. that's, yeah. that's good. That's it's good. Can, it's a good stress that. All right. Um, I hope you got your answer there, Duffy. Uh, Mr. Stewart, you had a question? Or family? At family? All right, I'm here. Um, evening, evening. Evening, people. Evening, people. Thanks for accepting me as a speaker. Um, no two questions. 
what's the view about CMEX and Carib Cement? Uh, Tell me. What's regarding, your view? All right. Regarding the fox, uh, they might take the money off at the top. Layman, everybody's supposed to care and understand this. They are dark. Take for the money off at the top. Stock dive. Mm-hmm. At least, what that? Mm, 15%? More than that. No, I mean, no, say more, but I say at least. Like, the assembly, you know, was at, it maxed out at 100. 100 and, and odd. It hit 120 yeah, odd. It kicked 121. 146. Yeah, no, man, it never reached there, sir. Correct. Right, 146 and 20. 146. 146. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never get it there, sir. Uh, one to think about that, one. Uh, one to think about GK and Spiritry, the mere fox, sir. Uh, Based on the setup, it look like the match. Well, look like the mode for a buyout. Uh, that's the second question. Third question. All right, you know what? Let's deal with those two before we move on to the other one. Wow. Well, we talk about the CMEX one and a couple of things. And we also, we, we kind of, some, some could say we hinted on it earlier today and in previous spaces. But um, yeah, I honestly think I would hinted at it as well, you know. But that, mm-hmm. that is my view. Well, on the space is what I mean, on, on previous spaces, but your view is that they're taking it off the top, which is true. That, that's um, what I was about to say. <laughs> well, it's not a view, it's a fact, right? We don't know exactly, exactly how much, but they've kept themselves at 4%, Four. which, mm-hmm. as uh, when we spoke about that, pointed out that if, if you pull 4% of revenue out of last quarter, you they would actually have made a lot. Fat I think the man them basically shit on the local investors because I'll know when I get a dividend when I get nothing. And I say we because I'm a holder. I can tell you're very fired up. Man, shit. <laughs> um, charged up. Uh, charged up. <laughs> I was a shareholder also. Um, Same. I'm oh, not a damn, shareholder yeah, yeah, currently. Yeah, before or after? Before. For me. Before. Oh. Well, oh. when you say after, what do you mean? The meeting. Like, the meeting. No, no, oh, no. I wouldn't wait that for that. Oh yeah, okay. That. Exit before that. Yeah, once once the share price stop going where I want, I'm out. Wait, fair, fair, fair. Good, good, good. Yeah, I've never been to Mexico, in the brother. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I um, to you think to about, not you think it's gonna, you know, go back to where it was in any short order per se. Based on well, talk to Danai about that. Talk to Danai about that. No, or, just, or just come. share some views. Just share some views. Not that. Not, not... We, we can't be smart all the time and then stupid sometimes. So talk <laughs> yep. to Danai. <laughs> talk to Danai about that if you want an exact thing or if you want to learn my own. No, man, no, I look at that's it. what I said. That's what I was saying. I don't want any specifics or any exact. You know, just views. I know what you're saying. Really. Trust me. Well, I get it. I get told it every day. We get told it every single day. I you just want what me think about it if it's are in short order. As what I short order mean to you? What short order mean to you? <laughs> no problem. What, 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 what's our, no, no, real do? question. And, uh, yeah, yeah, real question. The, I remember uh, what, what you said. All right, being realistic, a six to nine month span. Mm-hmm. I remember what you said. It. You said go back to where it was in short order. So you want mm-hmm. a, a prediction on a movement of the price from X to X in a specific timeline. Based so on what you're thinking, I don't think that's. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what we tell. That's what the ideal clients. Well, okay, fair. My respect. And well, I teach it, so. but I, I want you to learn it, you know, because it, yo, trust when you first, I want more people to learn it. It's fun. I want people to talk about it. I want people to do it with me. I like, I don't want to reach by myself. I like when a crowd get there with me and I'm still learning. So it's good, right? And it's two, true. Justin, big up. Oh, big up, big up, Justin. We're Justin, you're talking. 876? Stuart. Right. Yeah, man. Justin, 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 no, good you, man. Justin is, is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good you. Justin. Good. Yeah, if you ever hear this to the earnings season, I don't remember which episode, but we talk about when we met Justin, why we met him, and all of the 876 guys. Yeah, man, yeah, the was, yeah, they impressed us with Big up the credit knowledge. line family. To people who can, you know, running from the follow, just load it up. Uh, this guy is trying to get it. Run that. And it, I, I, I'm big up your auntie from foreign car. You don't know where yeah, the bridge is. Yeah, man, you don't know where the bridge is. Jamaica, we said. <laughs> 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 all right, what's the other question? Oh, the other about. question, yeah. Uh, all right, third you, question. You mentioned What's the view on week time? The... What do you think about week time? Okay, so I'm, you're I'm... jumping past the whole buyout business. I'm going to hear it. You mentioned something about a buyout before. Oh, yeah, man, that was GK. 
And GK tree. buying out what? Spur tree. This As in they're ba- they buying spur tree? No, all right. Spur tree is about to list, right? If you look on mm-hmm. the numbers and read, read through the, spur, the prospectus, mm-hmm. then you know that they're, they're going to be allotted. Well, them have a loan. GK gave them a loan, and they're mm-hmm. going to be allotted a certain number of shares as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is two. Uh, also, the fact that their business, Spur Tree, uh, would, in well, directly benefit uh, GKR, align with GK core business. So mm-hmm. that in itself is another influence. Uh, some other factors that I don't necessarily core to business. speak about here. GK is core business. Well, the food processing aspect of it. But that's not their, is that their core business? The food processing aspect. <laughs> So it aligns with, with one of GK's businesses. Yeah. Is it a difference? True, true. And this uh, this part also aligns with another part of GK's business. Mm-hmm. And why oh if you listen to me, you're not seeing me. I highlighted the fact that the shares that they that they'll be getting, the GK investment is a subsidiary of GK. So that aligns with another part of GK's business. True. Mm-hmm. But so what's the actual question? You said that they look like they're buying them out. No, I was asking what you think. If you think a buyout is in the pipeline afterwards, why list it then? Repeat yeah. that. Why list why? it? Why list it? Okay, fair point. You pay more on the marketing. True. Yeah, I I don't think that that's what it is, but I could be wrong. But I don't think that that's what it is. But See. like I said, come and to and that's my, what I wanted to... to you know for other people to benefit from you know, to hear what you guys think. And that's no, but then these questions. You you want you want everybody to eat except us. Nah, man, everybody are gonna eat, man. This is so when... the people, you know. <laughs> so we know people to read up. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but, uh, uh, I'm leave think... it there for now. I have another one, but let's leave it there for now, cause we all have to eat as you say. Nah, man, we are left with this one, man. No man, as it was the other it going. Wigton thing. Oh, Wigton. Uh, that wasn't the other mm-hmm. one, but uh, I want to think about Wigton. Good company. For sure, for sure, for sure. Without doubt. Thank God they exist. Like they would be higher if they were in their own. Um, damn. Without a doubt. What's the growth agenda, though? What do you mean? Other than the fact that they are selling directly to JPS, uh, what's the growth agenda? Without a contract, how they're going to move? They legally can't sell to anybody else. Well, true, true, true. That's that. So when you think about the growth agenda, is there one coming? Or when you see anything in the pipeline? Or is it not something that you're going to look on in recent time? What do you mean? But I don't know if Dana is still looking on everything, but I still look on everything. So um, what do you think? So... I think that... Right, uh, Wigton yeah, has, yeah, has, yeah, has, yeah, has, has given us their growth agenda, though. Yeah, they the ways they want IPO to know. Mm-hmm. From IPO to now. So you actually, what are you actually asking? All right, we'll leave that one there then. No, man, Talk. go through the thing. You're getting a chance to ask a question. <laughs> no, man, I, I do my one research now. I have my team that I So share it with the people. Just, that... You know, for the people, really. Yeah, so let's hear the research. Let's hear what you think. No, that, that's the thing, you know. I personally can't dive into the, the, the research that we are doing. That's a breach. Oh, you work there? That I'm on a public platform. You must do it. it. Oh, are, wait, you work, oh, you work for week time. You work for week time. No, man, not at all. You work for a broker? No. So I, you can't Let's just say I work with some companies. <laughs> that it wouldn't be in my best interest to speak a certain way. But you, you, so you're trying to entrap us, officer? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I As I said, just for the people, man, for hear what other people think that are actively in the market. I think that Wigton is an amazing opportunity for the kind of investor that I can see. If you listen, again, I'll reference our older earning season episodes. We speak about a red wedding. Um, we, speak about, we speak about a couple of things well. Uh, and, I, and we give a couple of things dates, especially in our early episodes. We give a, a, a couple of things, some heavy set dates, um, which have continued to come through. And I don't know. 
how much clearer, how, how much deeper I want to go. But I'll say that I am happy that we can exist. I think there's a huge opportunity there for investors that know what they're doing. And you can buy Wigton at IPO price or near IPO price currently. And that, uh, that could be seen as a hell of a blessing in the future. Can they can't even get it lower. If you get it at 49, that's below IPO price. <laughs> that is true. Well, if you pay fees, it's not, but yeah. True, 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 true. But good so, opportunity for sure. Depending on your timeline and who you are and what your your goals are, it could be a great opportunity or it could be terrible, right? For sure. For people sure. who bought it in August might not think of it as a great opportunity. And some people no. cry. That's how the market goes. Some of us. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. The, the secret is to understand it. All right. Well, tell us something that you like on the market and you want to talk about. That. Uh, you know, not honestly, I like all the companies listed. I love the fact that it gives Jamaicans the opportunity to own and benefit. Uh -huh. I hear you mentioned earlier about Bill. Uh, and one of the, the what, I, what I like about Bill, I, APOs, there Bill? Bill they did What's Bill? Barita. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just for everybody. They made, the makes sense, makes sense, respect. And they allotted a certain number of units for farmers. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that with another company. We are not uh, Mayberry, Mayberry allotted units for millennials. That was pretty cool. And um, nice, nice. and I think a couple of other companies might follow that sort of trend. I don't remember if there was anything for healthcare workers, but I think Barita's also done stuff for healthcare workers. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I like to see those type of things. You know, we are the ordinary man can benefit from the services locally other than just buying these services or buying a product from a company them can actually benefit from the company itself them can get a check them can pass mm -hmm. on that check you know to an account of a next generation mm -hmm. i like that but i don't can wrap it all i like that too but with stock come on, you, you, you hit us with so many things you can contribute something to, to it it's it, it's it's the, the, it's it's a great day for it so Tell us a no, stock all right. that you, you like know, and why. Honestly, I was looking to exit now. I wanted to give somebody else the opportunity to speak. <laughs> but I'll be I'll be in this space, man. I'll be in this space for sure. All right, boss. All right. Well, thank you nonetheless, Mr. Stewart. Um, My respect. Respect, respect. And anybody else who has a, a, a point and they want to bring across, now is a great time to send a speaking request. We will listen to it greatly and, and answer if we can or comment on whatever it is you say. Sir Alric, in the meantime, since nobody's sending a speaking request, you, you, you have you had any other um, points, your follow-up points? I don't know if you got to everything that you wanted to. Alric, if you're speaking Alric, you're still, you're muted, so you have to unmute. I guess Alric, Alric, Alric gone, Alric had the road, all right. Andrew Higgins, I guess you'll be our last one for the evening. How are you doing, sir? I'm good enough. Thanks for having me. Um, you oh, made no the problem. point about um, what was it? Wing, wing, Wington or Wington? Sorry. The last speaker made a point about Wington. <laughs> you said that they can't legally sell uh, to anybody else. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on that, please? That I wasn't aware. I think you're a big investor. No, I don't um, have any research in, about in energy, you know. But but the idea that you that JPS has essentially a monopoly caught my caught my attention. Not essentially, JPS has a legally defended monopoly. It is illegal to it is illegal for not a lawyer sprinkle salt, but it is illegal for anyone in Jamaica to sell electricity across property lines or any road yeah, so if true. i run an electric if i run an extension card across a fence to my neighbor mm -hmm. and, and 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 charge him or her a tree gun every month and the police find out it, i i would be given an opportunity to plot somebody's hair or get my hair plot and i'm not trying to do that <laughs> so it's, it's it's illegal it's illegal to do that um 
So I think you should do growing. One of the things that we teach at Grow is the importance of understanding the companies fully in order to predict them. So that thing I didn't realize was a big deal, but yeah. Um, and I could be wrong. I could be incorrect. Anybody who knows can correct me, but yeah, just to take it, take it, take it for, 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 for something that Randy said that, um, it's illegal to, for anybody to sell it. So return is good. I'll give you another fact. There is a mandate from the government that every kilowatt of energy produced using renewable energy in Jamaica, mm -hmm. JPS has to buy it. Has to buy it? Has to yeah. buy it. So, it, it. so they cannot refuse sale. So think of people that they think, well, again, when you set up a renewable situation on your house, if, it, if mm -hmm. you feed the house and you have excess, then JPS will have to buy it from you. The law requires price, them to buy. <laughs> well, yeah. But they are also taxed. Um, GPS? No, as in when you produce renewable energy, there's a special tax that you pay. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I thought you never doing research on the energy. No. <laughs> I can't. So, I get, so, I can't you know, so you can know something of us. No, okay. I had an interest in. Um, Teslas, to be specific. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. several years back, I just looked at some documents. Nothing great. But what mm -hmm. you're telling me now, it raises antitrust concerns. Because I'm trying to understand how would those kinds of laws be established and, and on what basis? 90s was a wild time. We're not going to turn the the, the space into a political space, but the night was a wild time. And this is not necessarily an unusual thing in countries around the world. Um, but do you research, Andrew? I, I don't go down that road too far, but it is, think about it. If it's a monopoly, it's not an illegal monopoly. Like I said, it is supported by the government. The law is required. Yeah, think of Caribbean. Well, Caribbean has always existed thanks to the government. Well, I mean, to be fair, you know, a very monopolistic manner. A law can be a law can be unjust regardless, and um, it is incumbent on whoever is affected to challenge it. Um, True, but I I don't know if the laws I mentioned are unjust. Like I said, there's a mandate that every kilowatt of renewable energy that's produced by a renewable energy company in Jamaica, JPS has to buy it from that company that's why we have so many solar companies that's why no, we have why can't you sell it that's that's the, that's the concern you can and sell I it need, but you can i only... need to do i need Sorry, to do my do. own research because really and truly I'm, I'm grossly ignorant um but so i can't really I wouldn't say that but, conversation. but just listen to what i said or the exact words i didn't say that you can't sell it i say you can only sell it to jpa right but again that is essentially a monopoly. And, You're just feeding it. And then no, hold on. And then I said true. that JPS, JPS also has to buy it. So you can only sell to them. And there's another rule that says another law that says that they have to buy. It. Mm -hmm. Right. So I can't sell it to my neighbor. If I have a solar farm, I can't sell it to my neighbor. But I can sell it to JPS. And then other law says JPS, JPS has to buy it. And logically, JPS thing. might charge more when they resell it. Well, we don't. I don't care as long as you you, you buy it from and, me for more than it costs me to and, to, to and, generate it. You know, there was a there was a time in Jamaica's history where, um, what do you know? Flow, Flow had a monopoly on telecommunications. That, Cable and wireless, correct? Yeah, yeah. Cable and wireless at the time. Um, mm -hmm. had a monopoly on telecommunications, particularly mobile mm -hmm. telecommunications. Mm -hmm. And the kind of diversity that we have in terms of handsets, and even cost fees on a whole, they're entirely different. And I remember when Digicel came, poor people, middle class people, everybody except uptown people were extremely grateful. And people bought little little handsets with no colors and in the back of my mind i'm i'm thinking about that time in jamaica's history when essentially cable and wireless at, at the time a, a company with no vision um and not even no vision their own self-interest um stifled 
progress because they couldn't make a dollar off of us. And I'm I'm thinking now that JPS has been doing that for decades. And so in in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, how can I challenge this in in, in, in as creative a way as possible? That's a good line. Of, that's a good line of thinking to go down. Um, and it might end with you setting up your own solar wind facility for yourself, right? Should point out here's a third rule: if you live somewhere where JPS is available, you have to take JPS. You don't yeah. have to use it, but you have to take it. Yeah, they own production and distribution right. rights. Right. And, it's and in, again, it's in law. So, so if you have a, if you are your house, if a power line runs by the front of the, the road in your house, you have to take the power line. You don't have to mm -hmm. use the power, but you have to take it. Uh, it's a very interesting space to go down. I don't want to go too, too far down it, but um, you're right. There's some research on it. It might be very, very interesting. It, it, it was interesting for me anyway to learn yeah. after these things. And it colored, it colors a lot of how I view the companies that are in that space, including okay. JPS, which is a listed company technically in some mm -hmm. ways. Their debt is and listed. Be, and they, I will be further listed if everything goes according to plan. Correct. Right, after here was next year, early next year. Last out here. Correct. Here we go. Um, so can you share that for us who are not so okay? What would you say? Just just Google it. Google um Dr. Nigel Clark speaking about the divestment of JPS. It's a very it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Divestment of government shares in JPS. Yeah. My G, yeah. big man thing. You don't know a lot of these things, but you always talk about having a lot of money. You might need hey, lend me some money. What US or Jamaican? <laughs> I'm anything or anything. I don't care either. Uh no, I don't do credit facilities. But um well, the, thing can do this, <laughs> the thing is this. Um I started in business a long time ago and I mm -hmm. had the opportunity. At the time I didn't think much of it. But mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to sit on a couple of boards and mingle with some people. And I didn't know that they were as influential or as powerful as they were because I was just close to them. And so I took it for granted. Mm -hmm. Now I've come to appreciate that that kind of access was not common to people. And so that is why sometimes when I speak, um, it might seem a little bit different because it is, I've, I know plenty of local companies with extra money. And I know, uh, I would say key persons who you can sit down and reason with just like how you and I are having conversations. And you can mm -hmm. get a million here, uh, half a million there. And it doesn't, it doesn't require any 45 page document or any great business plan because they are regular people and you'd be so it, it, it is so it would be so natural it's almost like you're talking with your auntie or your uncle brother so, i'll tell you this neither my auntie or my uncle ever give me a million and a half a million you <laughs> have friends you, I, 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 no, I, I don't have those kind of friends it's just where you're they get rich friends you right, yo. <laughs> have the extra million <laughs> Okay. It's, a, it's a relatively recent phenomenon of mine to, to have friends with that kind of financial access and i'm happy for it and what i do how i repay them is by helping them through things like this and to learn and to do it also so then i do then i for bridging so then i my ask if a, a half mil lend me a half mil i'm going to say andrew say for the lend. <laughs> but andrew i like your point and it's a good point I, I guess i understand if you don't know when you find out it can be a surprise but yeah, most people, most people don't know a lot of these things. And that's why I would space like this, to allow people to learn it. If I had the time or the inclination, I'd go deep into it, but I don't. And I, I, you might be hearing the tiredness in my voice. So thank you. We can link up. I tell you, I do you not a grow. It's focused on spur tree. Um, and learn, it's really focused on increasing financial literacy about investing generally. But we have a focus company where we do it and it will be spur tree. It'll be um, Monday. Go to everymickle.com, sign up. I would love to have you at a class and we could
talk about it. We'll have a very informative day if you're open to it. It's a public holiday. If you're home, I'm more than willing to have that conversation with you. The people who have signed up already will get the best that I can give on that date as usual. So thank you as always for contributing. Thank you for um, having me. No yeah, problem. And you know, bless up, link up. I, I, I'd like to have more of these conversations off here where you can talk a little freer. Mm -hmm. uh, last one for the evening, Suzette. Curly Sue. Hi, my name's actually Stephanie, but Suzette is fine. Um, right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, happy, happy Christmas Eve to everybody. Same um, to you too. <laughs> thanks. So I've been really curious about proven investments lately because um, I feel like at the start of the year, we all had a lot of hope for it, um, especially with the APO, or was that last year? And um, I don't know if it's because of all that happened with Dream and them selling Dream. You know, I just haven't really been hearing much about it apart from all of these proven billboards and, um, you know, construction sites going up around the place. So, and I don't have very much to contribute either, but I'm also here just asking, and I, full disclaimer, I am a shareholder in Proven, and I'm really, really hopeful that things will pick up based on all the investments that I've heard. But also here just, you know, wondering what you guys think about it and about the decision to sell Dream and, um, you know, what they've been up to lately. Ah, that's a, that's a if you want. Um, cur what, uh, what did you say, Stephanie? Stephanie? Any, anything is fine. Stephanie, um, <laughs> well, it, it's, it's hard to answer that because I, I don't know, we were all excited about it. Um, I, I, I'm not quite excited in the same excited way. About, yeah, same. Yeah, I'm proven. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard to answer because I don't know what to say because I don't think I'm having the same conversation. You actually have a lot to contribute to it. I, I'll do this since you're the last one. I'll try and go through it with you. Tell me something. What do you know about them? What do they do? How do they make money? Well, what I know from Proven is that they are sort of an investment company in that they buy companies or they buy portions of companies and invest in it and they make money by selling it. So they're like a value-adding company. How good have they been at doing that over the last few years? Um, I mean, I think they've been good. <laughs> I know that they own Nuts for Express and we've seen Nuts for Express expanding and growing over the past few years. I mean, even during COVID, um, they had a huge dip here, but I think they're rebounding now with the career and I think they're expanding some fleet and dream. And I don't know what else they own, but I see that proven REIT is also growing because I've seen some news about that, and that's another one of their arms. And then they have other companies in the rest of the Caribbean that I have no idea how they're performing. But as far as I know, they just buy, add value, and sell for a profit. I think what you need to start off with is understanding how they make money. Um, and then that will help you to start to form a view as to whether or not what you think they're doing is good is actually good, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That's like the most major thing I can tell you to do. I don't want to turn it into a come to grow ad, but I'll tell you the same thing. If you come to grow on Monday and you pay attention, actually go through it and make sure the thing isn't boring. The same way I like to think that these conversations that we done in public are not boring for regular people. Um, I ensure we do the same thing. If you do that course, I, I'm almost willing to bet that at the end of the, the course, you will have a much better idea about proving. And you'll know how to analyze pretty much any company on the on the stock market as to how they're doing and what to expect from them. Okay, okay, got you. Thanks. Yeah, I've been it's not, it's not that too. simple. Yeah, it's not that. Well, do it. This is your biggest chance. I tell you this. I say it. In, you're one of the first. I'll say it. If you if you if you buy the ticket between now and December thirty first, even though the class is Tuesday, but if you buy a ticket because we're doing it also in we do it every month. If you put in brick mass. Or is it Merry Brickmas or Brickmas? One of them. If you put in Brickmas as a discount code, you'll get 10% off. Brickmas 2021. Not Brickmas, okay. Brickmas 2021. Okay, thanks. Let me make note of that. Please, please do. I think you'll, you'll find a whole heap of use in it. And if you don't, if I'm wrong, you also get 
five grand a five grand discount off Danai services nice. and then I can tell you whether or not proven is the right thing for you based on your goals, your life, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. Do you have one after Monday, by the way? I next have month. one Monday and then next month on the 29th. Okay, that's pretty far. Okay, I'll aim for Monday, but try if it. not, definitely there next month. Yeah, but try, try it Monday. Trust me, it's worth it. Are there, are there like a lot of parties Monday? I don't know. I'm actually sick right now, so I, I, I'm okay. not really <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah. sorry to hear. But if you don't mind, yeah. it's a perfect time to learn. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. I can tell yeah. you that. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully I'm better enough to actually participate and really learn from this session on Monday. When you have the laptop up, you listen, you can sniff it over, it won't, it won't, it won't <laughs> delay you. Trust me, it, it, it's, it is worth it. I'm bad in telling you that, but it is worth it. I know it is. Yeah, I, I know that people sing your praises, both you and Danai. So yeah. it's on my it's list of things. Today. No mm -hmm. problem. Okay, well, fingers okay. crossed. I'll see you on Monday then. Thank you again. Brickmas no 2021. Problem. You're very Brickmas 2021. That's correct. Um, are you 10% off? And I think if you go, if you put double bricks in, mm -hmm. double bricks, if you if it's for two people, like if you want a friend, you pay for you and a friend, you get 20% off instead of 10. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So consider it. Yeah. Uh, I'm it'll, it'll change how it's there's nothing oh, better okay. to do on Monday anyway. So thank <laughs> that's you. What I, that's what I would think. That's what I put on Monday. All right. Yeah. Sir Danai. Yes, bro. What's up? Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. I don't want to mash up either. I am I am tired. As I get off camera, I am going to I want I'm gonna drop down the bed, but I still have two last things to start writing. So thank you very much for doing this, sir. Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm also hungry and I, 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 I need to, I need to, to get a break. Thank you very much for doing this, taking some time out here, your first freedom evening this week. It would seem. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yeah, um, plug it, plug it, plug it. Your, your site also, so people can know. You don't have to do the course that I tell you about. That just gives you knowledge and a discount, but you can go directly to that night. Be mm hard, -hmm. um, Sign up there, and you book your session, and we should be good. I think I, I put it out. I think I'll put it out uh discount link tomorrow. Perfect. And you, you said yeah. December booked out, so it's really just January, January. Yeah, before day. January. So between now and the new year, if you book, then yeah, I think about 10% discount. So both yeah. but all right, guys. And you know, I say it all the time and I, I tell Daniel and I haven't done the work on my end to do it, but I say it publicly so that I'm forced to do it, at least when I wake up. If you did a Danai session and you want to come back and do grow up. Ask him where is the discount for doing grow up if you've done the session with, with Danai. That forces me to ensure I get it done on my end, right? <laughs> some social pressure, right? But you should get it. I, I probably do the same match in 10% discount. So if you do, if you say so Danai, you know, I really want to learn how them figure these things out themselves. It is not difficult, trust me. If you can go yeah. shop and come back with the right change, you can you can do it. Mm -hmm. All right. With that said, everybody, I hope you had a good session. I hope you had a good evening um enjoy enjoy your holidays enjoy whatever you're doing if you're out partying eat some food ask them what bite drink water <laughs> uh, you know you know the shrimps drink a lot of shrimps <laughs> and, <laughs> and um and, and stay safe everybody and right, thank you for being in this session and we will see you soon enough have a great evening everybody happy the best of everybody merry christmas yeah, but night, night, everybody. Uh, that, that you also, that night, that night, are hearing me and you're hearing that I same thing goes out to yeah, you. Hope you enjoy your time. Hope you enjoy your holidays, wherever in the world you night. are. And the stream is ending.